at Done Right Plumbing. That's Done R I T E Plumbing. When your vehicle is getting hard to crank, it's time to change batteries. The next time, you may be stuck at a bad location. See the pros at Batteries Northwest now and have the battery check. They have hundreds of different batteries available. Whatever you drive, there's a good chance that Batteries Northwest has the right one for you. A low-performing battery will do damage to other parts of your vehicle as well. BatteriesNorthwest.com. That's BatteriesNorthwest.com. Call 503-362-2684 to find a dealer near you. Buying or refinancing a home can be one of the most exciting times in your life and the most stressful. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can help put your mind at ease when it comes to home mortgages. Rates are at near historic lows. Buying, selling, or refinancing? Call Jeff today. 503-949-6302. He can also do reverse mortgages. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can put your mind at ease. 503-949-6302. NMLS number 273136. NMLS number two. Two three seven seven zero one. If you need your house painted, don't call me. If you need some plumbing done, don't call me. But if you need electrical work for your home business, call me, Jeffy, at A and A Electrical Contractors, 503 949 3193. From exterior lighting to chase away those raccoons and clowns at night, panel upgrades, give us a call today, 503 949 3193. CCB 153711. That's A and A Electrical Contractors. Gardening fever is starting to take hold. If you're ready to get your garden going, come on in to the 13th Street Nursery Covered Greenhouse and find the perfect plant or flowers for your garden. Or visit their new indoor plant room. 13th Street Nursery and Garden Center has a large selection of flowers and plants that will make your garden a showcase you can be proud of. Your landmark nursery in Salem, find them at 13th and Wilbur, 503-413-0386. Like them on Facebook or visit them on the web at 13thstreetnursery.net. That's 13th Street Nursery. Create something beautiful together. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my country safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time by visiting NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Oregon Army National Guard. Aired by the Oregon Association of Broadcasters and this station. It's time for your Salem Kaiser Volcanoes Baseball Bullpen Show. Presented by PT Northwest, Power Kia, McDonald's, and Les Schwab Tires. Now for a look at the stats from tonight's matchup. Here's Payne Patchett on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. For the first time since 2015, the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes are playing in the Northwest League playoffs. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Payne Patrick. You are listening to Salem Kaiser Volcanoes Baseball. Currently 82 degrees, not a single cloud in the sky here at Ron Talkin Field in Hillsboro, Oregon, for the Volcanoes will play the first game of the 2019 Northwest League Subdivision Series against the Hillsboro Hops. The Volcanoes winning the first half Northwest League South Division title, while Hillsboro just a few days Left in the regular season, won the second half of the Northwest League South Division. And will face off against each other for the Northwest League South Crown. Hillsboro trying to win their first title after losing in three games to the Eugene Emeralds. While the Volcanoes, uh, like I said, they are playing in the playoffs for the first time since 2015, where they lost in three games to the team they're facing off today, the Hillsboro Hops. Uh, the Volcanoes, they were coming off. Uh, Two-game losing streak, losing her last couple of games to the Eugene Emeralds, while Hillsboro's coming off a two-game winning streak, including two games with the two games being against the Boise Hawks. Uh, the Volcanoes looking to recover with this first game here. And with this regular season series between the Volcanoes and the Hops, it has been mainly a home, home field advantage type of series with the only time that the road team has won was back on July 16th, where the Volcanoes beat the Hops here at Ron Talkin Field, and the Hops have never beaten the Volcanoes at Volcano Stadium in the 2019 season. Game one will be played here at Ron Talkin Field. It's going to start in approximately one hour. Well, for anyone who just wants to see this Volcanoes team play in the playoffs tomorrow, they will play at Volcano Stadium on September 5th. 
There are still a number of good seats available. If you want to know any more information about how to get those seats, you go on volcanosbaseball.com or call 503-390-2225 to find out more information about how you can get these very, very fortunate effort, or the fortunate opportunity to see the Seal and Kaiser Volcanoes play in the Northwest League playoffs. The Volcanoes looking to recover after losing their last two games. They lost yes, they lost their last game a couple of days ago by a final score of six to one, a game that was considered a bullpen day in preparation for today because of the number of pitchers that were on the mound, unlike Eugene. The Volcanoes getting their only run on the board in the bottom of the sixth inning, while Eugene scored three in the fifth, two in the sixth, and one in the seventh to beat the Volcanoes by five and finish their season with an overall record of 33 and 43 with a second half record of 17 and 21. There were a total of seven pitchers that pitched for the Volcanoes in preparation for the postseason. Nick Avila was the starting pitcher. He threw four innings, allowing two hits and was very solid on the mound. Andy Roloff was the first pitcher after him. He got the loss after allowing the three runs in the fifth. Abel Adamas pitched after him, Israel Cruz, followed by Jorge Labrador, Ben Madison, and finally Jordan Scott won after frankly each inning or almost each inning Ben Madison throwing two and a third before Jordan Scott got the final guy out striking out Jake Washer looking with a strike three called and the Volcanoes are entering today with an overall record of 20 of 46 and 30 but now all the regular season records the standings are all going to go out the window as the Volcanoes are going to start from scratch here with the playoffs as they'll face off against a Hillsboro Hops team that has have that has the best regular season ERA in recent Northwest League history with an ERA of 2.87 in 76 games, allowing just 214 earned runs, the lowest in the Northwest League, while also being up there in the most strikeouts in the Northwest League up there. They are second in the Northwest League to another playoff team and that is the Tri-City Dust Devils. Dust Devils have 789 strikeouts. And while in comparison, the Hops, 742 strikeouts to the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, who have the lowest or second lowest number of strikeouts this year, the lowest out of all the playoff teams at 621. The starting pitchers for both teams for Salem Kaiser will be Kervin Castro. He'll be making his 16th start. While starting for the Hillsboro Hops, a part of that amazing rotation will be Tyler Holton, who is making his ninth start in his 10th appearance. He is 3-0. He has walked four and struck out 51 through the course of the 2019 season. A very incredible performance, while Kervin Castro has been the workhorse of the Volcanoes rotation. 67 and two-thirds innings, 52 hits, 20 earned runs. He has walked 13 and has struck out 61 as the 20-year-old from Venezuela is looking to go up onto the mound. He'll be starting against Hillsborough for the first time since July 15th when he allowed four earned runs, six hits, and struck out six in six innings back on July 15th, as I believe that was a series in which the Hops, they lost, they won the series in the first two games but it would be the day after that where the Volcanoes would win their only road game in this entire regular season series. The last time these two teams faced off, it was a very, very memorable six-game series at the start of the second half for both teams, with Hillsborough winning three games at home here and Salem Kaiser winning three games at Volcano Stadium. We're going to take a break here from Ron Hawkin Field here for game one of the Northwest League South Division playoffs. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Hi, I'm Brent DeHart, and you've heard me on Newsmakers at noon. What I do, though, is help people with life insurance and disability insurance. I am passionate about helping you protect your families and your businesses. If you need some honest guidance as to how to get some life insurance in place or would like a knowledgeable expert review what you already have, please give me a call. I'll tell you the truth, so let's have a conversation. Call me at 503-374-6633, 374-6633. Boone Ridge Senior Living is a lifestyle choice. Whether you desire assisted living or need memory care, Boone Ridge can be just the place for you or your loved ones. At Boone Ridge, you will experience extraordinary, and it's obvious from the moment you step through the doors. With our walking paths, fitness centers, open restaurant-style dining, and 24-hour skilled staff, 
you will want to call Boone Ridge home. Go to BooneRidgeSeniorLiving.com and learn more. Or for a tour, call 503-979-9611. Hi, this is Michelle at Copycats, located in West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser. We are much more than a full-service copy center. While we have the latest technology in self-service and full-service copy machines, we also offer an amazing array of printing and binding options. Color copying, offset printing, process color printing, laser engraving, and a full color poster. We do it all. Copycats offers a high quality products and services in addition to printing and copying, such as trophies, awards, signs, banners, business forms, and invitations. We also stock hundreds of different papers from elegant stationery stock to suit every taste. So let Copycats of West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser take care of you. Find us online at copycatsnw.com. At Copycats, our cats are paper trained. You need to change your oil, so don't put it off. Go to First Loop Plus and get their $34.99 oil change for only $24.99. Mention the volcanoes and you save $10. You'll get a smile from your tech and excellent service. There's no hassle or pushy sales guy to deal with. They just want to change your oil and keep your vehicle running great. The Volcanoes $24.99 special just makes your experience even better. First Loop Plus is downtown at 615 Liberty. They're also an authorized U-Haul rental outlet. It's First Loop Plus in downtown Salem. I know you thought your local Domino's couldn't make the $5.99 mix and match special any more awesome, but yes, we did. Mix and match any two or more of the following. A medium two-topping Domino's pizza, stuffed cheesy bread, eight-piece boneless chicken, pasta dish, an oven-baked sandwich, or our amazing new bread twist for only $5.99 each. And now you can make the pizza a large two-topping for only $3 more. Mix and match as many of these delicious Domino's items as you'd like for only $5.99 each. And don't forget to make your pizza large for just $3 more. Order online at dominoes.com today. This is Volcanoes Baseball Live on your home for Beck, Rush, Newsmaker, Gorka, and Sexton. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Sonkin Field in Hillsboro. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes playing their first postseason game in four seasons against the Hillsboro Hops, the team that eliminated them four seasons ago. Right in the same level, the Northwest League South Division Series. They'll be playing in game one. They will be curving Castro for Salem Kaiser against Tyler Holton for Hillsboro here in game one. As we don't have any official information yet about who will be pitching over the course of this game as well as in game two. As for the other game that will be going on, the Northwest League North Championship Series will happen at Avista Stadium in Spokane, Washington. The Tri-City Dust Devils playing against the Spokane Indians. It is a battle of the top two teams in the state of Oregon and the battle of the top two teams in the state of Washington when it comes to teams in the Northwest League. As they will be starting at right around 15 minutes from now, 6.30 p.m. This game going to be starting around 7.05 on first pitch. As a couple of days ago, the regular season had officially ended with the Hillsboro Hops taking the second half title, 24-14 and 14 with a second half record. They won 15 of 19 games at home while at second place the team they're facing off the salem kaiser volcanoes with a 20 and 18 record eugene and boise the two teams that have been eliminated from playoff contention and will finish their season early eugene 17 and 21 boise 12 and 26 in second half play with the hops and the volcanoes they both won six of their last ten the volcanoes trying to snap a two-game losing streak here in game one while the hillsboro hops just won over the boise hawks and just destroyed them by a final score of 13 to five, scoring a majority of their runs, scoring eight of the 13 runs in the final few winnings of the game. Uh, just an absolute demolishing of Boise. As for this game right here, one of the biggest things to look at is Hillsboro's home record and Salem Kaiser's road record, especially in the second half. The Hops, again, they were at 15-4, and four, which adds to a 28-10 and 10 home record, which is the best in the Northwest League. They are tied with Salem-Kaiser for the second-best road record at 20-18, and 18, and that's partly due to both teams not doing pretty good on the road. Hillsboro, 9-10, while Salem-Kaiser, they just, they just lost six straight games on the road over the course of this year. At one point, they had a 
I believe it was a 1-11 record, 3-11 record on the road. It was not good, but fortunately they were able to pick that record back up, and they are now at 7-13, and which is second best in the Northwest League. An amazing recovery for a team that played so poorly during a six-game road stretch to keep playing on the road and doing a pretty good job, and that's what the Volcanoes plan to do here. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, again, with a second half record of 20 and 18. Hillsboro, a second half record of 24 and 14. Eugene and Boise finishing off their season 17 and 21 and 12 and 26, respectively. While in the Northwest League North Division, the Spokane Indians are the only team in the Northwest League to win both the first half and second halves of the Northwest League Division as they won the second half division championship with a 22 and 16 record, winning their last two games and winning seven of their last 10. The Everett Aqua Sox finished second, or they finished second place in first half. No, the Tri-City Dust Devils finished second place in the second half standings, which means that they got a playoff berth. They were one game back of Spokane with a 22-16 and 16 record. Everett, the Everett Aqua Sox at third place. They finished second half play with a 500 record of 14. My mistake, not 14. That's how many wins they had at home. No, it's a 19-19 and 19 record, while Vancouver finishing off their 2019 season with a second half record of 15 and 23. The overall record, Spokane, 45 wins. Only team in the Northwest League with 40 or more wins. Tri-City with a 500 overall record of 38 and 38. Everett eliminated. They are eight games back. They were a few games back of Tri-City for the playoffs, but they lost a few key games there to Spokane which got them eliminated from playoff contention. They finished with an overall record of 37 and 39. Vancouver, 16 games under 500 at last place with a record of 30 and 46. As for the Northwest League South Division, two of the top teams in the entire league, Hillsboro and Salem Kaiser, stand on top first and second place. Hillsboro with a 48 and 28 record. Salem Kaiser sitting just a couple games behind them at 46 and 30. The Eugene Emeralds, 10 games under 500 with a 33 and 43 record. And Boise sits with the worst overall record in the Northwest League with a 27-49 record. They have more losses than any team has wins by one game. And that is Hillsboro. They have 48 wins. Boise finishing off their bittersweet season with a 27-49 record, the worst overall record in the Northwest League. While for the teams that are going to be playing in the playoffs, it'll be Tri-City and Spokane, which, is, which are just warming up right around now. And here at Ron Talkin Field, Salem, Kaiser, and Hillsboro. We're going to take a break here from Ron Talkin Field so we can get ready for the playoffs. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head. And one of the things we have that is absolutely stunning is our Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And we have them starting at small amethyst pieces for just $10 up to our large geodes, and they're called Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And they're purple in color, and they come from Uruguay, and they're just beautiful. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head, 110 North Water in historic downtown Silverton. Sweet Dog Days is the perfect place to send your pooch for a day or a vacation. Lisa and her staff of dog-loving attendants will make sure that your pet is well-fed and cared for. Plus, there will be other pets there waiting to play. Go to DoggyDaycareSalem.com. That's DoggyDaycareSalem.com. Hundreds of pet owners rave about the care their pets receive at Sweet Dog Days. They can even watch their pet on closed-circuit TV while they're away. No matter how long they stay, make sure it's at Sweet Dog days. At Reed Law Firm, we've earned a reputation for helping those in need, people like you. Out of nowhere, the accident changed everything. I can't even hold my own child. We understand your fears in the aftermath of an auto collision. A careless driver nearly killed two of our own family members, so we've seen that fear up close. We focus on you and your unique case start to finish, from your vehicle repairs to your medical bills and lost income so that you can focus on healing and rebuilding your life. After the accident, I didn't have the money to fight back, but they believed when no one else would. Reed Law Firm, where your first consultation is absolutely free. Call us and let's talk. Put our experience on your side. Reed Law Firm, reedlawfirm.com, R-E-E-D lawfirm.com, or call us at 971-915-7798.
Do you have a tree or tree limb that's not looking so good and might not survive the winter? Call R&R Tree Service. They will come out and take care of that tree problem quickly. You know that winds, rain, snow, and ice are all coming back soon. Have that tree problem taken care of before it causes damage to your property. R&R Tree Service is a family-owned tree care company located in the heart of Salem. Call the friendly office staff at R&R Tree Service or visit them at rrtreeservice.com. That's rrtreeservice.com. Built as user-friendly as it is budget-friendly, the Kubota Z100 zero-turn mower can maneuver any landscape and cut a lawn worth admiring. With smooth controls and a cut that's adjustable right from the seat, this machine makes mowing way more comfortable, all while delivering professional-grade results. Find yours at your local dealer. Kubota. Shape your world. See Lynn Benton Tractor just off Highway 34 and 99 East in Tangent and online at lynnbentontractor.com. Rush Limbaugh, weekdays 9 to noon, and Volcanoes Baseball at night. A winning combination on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Sonken Field in Hillsboro. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes playing in the first game of the Northwest League South Division Series against the Hillsboro Hops. Both teams starting with 0-0 zero and zero records for postseason play, even though the Hops overtake the Volcanoes an overall record by two games with a 48-28 and 28 overall record for the Hops. The Volcanoes with a 46-30 and 30 record, two of the best records in the Northwest League. And now those two teams are going to be facing off here tonight and tomorrow for sure. Game two is going to be played on September 5th at Volcano Stadium. Uh, anyone who wants to see this Volcanoes team play in the playoffs for the first time since 2015, there's still a lot of good seats available. And if you want to know any information about the remaining seats at Volcano Stadium, you can they are available on our website, volcanosbaseball.com, or you can find out by calling 503-390-2225 for any information that you may want on the salem kaiser volcanoes playoff tickets but now the series overall between hillsborough and salem kaiser is a very very fascinating piece of the season for salem kaiser i also wanted to give myself a little correction i said earlier in the pregame segment that the volcanoes win here at ron Tonkin field was the only road win out of this home advantage laden series uh that is not true i messed up on a line there the other game of where the road team won was actually the first time these two teams faced off back on june 25th in which hillsborough traveled the volcano stadium and they shut the volcanoes out by a score of seven to nothing to where salem kaiser only had two hits but the volcanoes would quickly respond by coming back from a two-run deficit to tie the game up at three in the sixth inning, take a one-run lead in the seventh, and take a one-run lead in the eighth inning the next day. As the Volcanoes won five to three, it was thanks to one of the Volcanoes' new players at the time, an outfielder from Butler named Harrison Freed. That was his first home run, a two-run home run that tied the game at three. The Volcanoes beating Hillsboro by a score of five to three, and they would win the series by a score of four to two. It was the first home start of one Jesus Ozoria who threw five and a third innings. He was the first Volcanoes pitcher to throw in the sixth inning. And it also saw Harrison Freed hit another home run, this one against Jacob Stevens in the fifth inning. Stevens is still on the roster as the Volcanoes beat the Hops by a score of four to two. Now, as the Volcanoes played in the, the first series at Ron Sockin Field, it was a whole other story. Starting off with the first game on July 14th, Danny Olivero was the starting pitcher for the Hops. He got the winning. He got the win as he now has a franchise record eight wins for Hillsboro. He got his fourth one here as the Hops won by a score of seven to three, with the Hops scoring six of their seven runs in the first four innings. And the second game, it was a game that the Volcanoes almost won. They left they left a runner on base in almost every inning except for the third. Ten runners total. The Hops winning by a score of four to three. Kervin Castro, he got his second loss here as he allowed four runs through six innings. This was the last time that Castro ever faced off against the Hillsboro Hops. And for the final game 
of that series on July 16th. This was the only game in which the Volcanoes won here at Ron Toffin Field. They blew out Hillsboro by a score of 8-2, to two, scoring all eight of their runs in the first five innings of this game. Baker Mendoza hitting a pair of doubles. Tyler Fitzgerald, who has since had moved up to Augusta, went two for five. And Jacob Lopez, who has since been traded as a part of the part of a part of the trade deadline that the Tampa Bay Rays organization and with Hudson Valley in New York through five scoreless innings and got his second win of the season as that would finish off the three game series there it wouldn't be until the start of second half play where the Volcanoes would play against Hillsborough again as they would lose once again another one run game by a score of five to four a game that the hops led by one on and then a two run home run or my mistake, a two-run single by Christian Robinson, who has since moved up to Kane County, would score the final two. The Volcanoes would get a couple of more runs on the board on a two-run home run by Alex Canario, but they would lose by one, and that was on July 23rd. On July 24th, they lost to the Hops by a score of 4-1. to one. They had an early one nothing lead, but the Volcanoes could not hold on to that lead. It was also the day where Connor Nurse got his first loss. And also in the third game, this is also the second time in which the Volcanoes won here at Ron Zalkin Field. I really need to research this stuff. The Volcanoes, they shut out Hillsboro by a final score of 2-0 in a redemption so in a redemption uh, in a sign of redemption of what happened in the first game between the two teams. Travis Perry getting his third win, throwing six scoreless innings against the Hops. That was their first win in second half play, and it wouldn't be until around early August where these teams will face off the Hops on August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th would sweep the Volcanoes, but on August 8th, 9th, and 10th at Volcano Stadium, Salem Kaiser would win all three games. And that was the last time that these two teams faced off. We're going to take another break here from Ron Talking Field to get ready for game one. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Sportsman's Warehouse is the place to go for all your camping, hiking, hunting, and fishing equipment and advice. Sportsman's Warehouse believes strongly in supporting local community events throughout the year. On September 11th, Sportsman's will host the Red Cross for a blood drive. Stop by Sportsman's Warehouse on September 11th. Donate to the Red Cross and help save a life. Sportsman's Warehouse, located on Lancaster Drive next to Winco. It's the Sportsman's Warehouse Red Cross Blood Drive on September 11th. You know Building Material Bargain Center is known for being the low-priced leader in building material. Did you know that they stock and sell name-brand home appliances like Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung? Refrigerators, washers, dryers, dishwashers, and ream water heaters are available at greatly reduced prices. Building Material Bargain Center is your one-stop shop for building materials and home appliances. Located on Front Street in downtown Salem. Bargains at their very best. Visit them online at BargainCenterSalem.com. Hello, this is Danny Moore, General Manager here at Creekside Golf Club. We have a fall membership program going on, and I would like to invite you out to see our great facility. We have an 18-hole championship golf course and a fully stocked pro shop with all the top name brands. But we're more than just golf. We have something for everybody. We have two state-of-the-art workout facilities, a fantastic driving range for both summer and wintertime practice, an indoor performance center used for both club fitting and club repair. We also have an indoor simulator, great for fun in the winter months when the weather turns bad. Our two newest additions are two pickleball courts and a bocce ball court. We also have a swimming pool for summertime fun. Our restaurant, Danny's on the Green, has great food and beautiful views of the golf course. We have a large banquet room, great for holiday parties. So as you can see, Creekside has it all. So come on down and let me show you around the best club in town. That's Creekside Golf Club and ask for Danny Moore. Hi, I'm Jaden. My husband Chris and I own Synergize Auto here in Dallas, Oregon. We always have a great selection of quality pre-owned vehicles and power sports, and you'll be working directly with us always. We are a non-pressuring, easy to work with, and family-owned company. We offer financing options, take trade-ins, and do consignments. See our inventory at SynergizeAuto.com. That's S-Y-N-E-R-G-I-Z-E Auto.com. Find us on Google to see what customers are saying. We're all about service and being a dealership you can trust. 
At Selden Learning Centers, there's an entire team ready to help students succeed. Here's what families are saying about Selden. Madison was having difficulties with her math, so we put her in Selden, and by the time she started sixth grade, she was only a few months behind. The instructor helped me improve on my reading and comprehension. My skills are a whole lot better thanks to her. Does your child or grandchild need a head start going back to school? This is Kim Dorn, and Sylvan can get them headed in the right direction. Call 503-363-2996 today. This is Volcano Spaceball on your home for Newsmakers with Brent and Day. Weekdays at noon on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Zonkin Field in Hillsboro. Both teams get ready to... Go on the field, stretching at the moment. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes along the third base side wearing their black jerseys, the white letters on the back, and the Volcanoes logo on the top left of the jersey with a gray pants and black socks, and the gray cap, while the Hillsboro Hops could be wearing their Latino Heritage jerseys. So we're going to have more information on those. You have the teal sleeves, the white jersey, the white pants. You have the dark blue numbers on the back, and a... I believe that is a gray and light blue cap on as well. Get a really good view from here up in the press box as the Volcanoes will take the field very shortly in about a half hour for the first game in the Northwest League South Division playoffs. We're going to take another break here from Hillsboro. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. John's Decks and Fences says if you're considering a new or replacement deck or fence, don't wait. Lumber prices are sure to go up. Meet with John at your home or business and share your ideas. Many local home and business owners are enjoying the decks that John has built. Others appreciate the attractive fencing for privacy. John's Decks and Fences is a family-owned business with low overhead, so this means big savings for you. Call John at 855-946-5393. John's Decks and Fences will hit a home run for you. CCB number 219310. Johnson Funeral Home in Salem salutes our veterans and thanks them for their years of service for our country. Local owners of Johnson Funeral Home, Miles and Aaron, understand the importance of being responsible service providers. They work with families at a difficult time and make sure that all the details and considerations are properly handled. Keep locally owned Johnson Funeral Home in mind for funerals, cremations, pre-planning, or celebrations of life. For more details, go to johnsoncelebrations.com. johnsoncelebrations.com. You're looking to buy a home. You want to upgrade, downsize, and get into a home that truly fits your life right now. But you don't know how much your house will sell for, and you have no idea if it will be enough for a down payment on the house of your dreams. So you start thinking, we're going to have to stay in this house forever. Hi, I'm Katie Canales from Team Canales and Landmark Professional Mortgage, and we have good news for hopeful home buyers. You do not need to save a fortune to buy a home. That's right, you can get into a new home with a low down payment or even no down payment at all. Recently, we helped a growing family keep their current house as a rental and buy their new, bigger home with very little down. Now they are in a home that they love and are earning equity in two homes instead of just one. To see if you qualify to buy a home with a low down payment, apply to get pre-approved at bestloanprogram.com. The form takes less than five minutes to complete and you'll know if you're approved in less than 24 hours. Go to bestloanprogram.com now so you can make a great move into a great house or call me at 503-385- Four zero four zero. NMLS company ID 399162. NMLS ID 270783. Equal opportunity lender. If you have an accident in your car or truck, call Jackson's Body Shop at once. This third generation family business has repaired thousands of vehicles right here in Salem. They have an excellent working relationship with insurance companies and will make sure your car is returned to its prior condition. The Jackson team brings you great service with a personal touch. They always say, give us your keys and you will be pleased. Jackson's Body Shop on Silverton Road. Call today or visit them online at jacksonsautobody.com. That's jacksonsautobody.com. When it comes to plumbing issues, you need someone you can trust. Done Right Plumbing is family owned and operated with years of experience serving residential customers in the Mid Valley. They take great pride in getting the job done right the first time. Done Right will respect you, your home, and the environment. The staff is proud to live and work in the Mid Valley and support our local events. Call them at 503-364-2668. When you need plumbing, get her done right at Done Right Plumbing. That's done, R-I-T-E, plumbing. It's time for your Salem Kaiser Volcanoes Baseball Bullpen Show. Presented by PT Northwest, Power Kia, McDonald's, and Les Schwab Tires. Now for a look at the stats from tonight's matchup. Here's Payne Patchett on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. 
And a good evening, everybody, here from Ron Tompkins Field in Hillsborough. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, for the first time in four seasons, are going to be playing in the Northwest League playoffs against the Hillsborough Hops. I wish the Volcanoes will look to get to the Northwest League Championship Series for the first time since they last won it back in 2009. But right now, we're going to be looking at the Division Series. The Volcanoes winning the Northwest League South First Half Division title back in late July over Boise. Easily one of the main highlights of the entire season. They beat the Hawks in 12 innings. While for Hillsborough, it was a matter of elimination. And really, it was more than just uh, an extra inning thriller. It was just more of a matter of who won and who lost. And it was just all that stuff minus the extra inning thriller. But the Hops did win the second half Northwest League South Division title with a few games left in the season as they'll face off against each other here today. Uh, let's go over the lineups very quickly for both teams for the visiting Salem Kaiser Volcanoes against the Hillsboro Hops. Tyler Holton, the 23 year old from Tallahassee, Florida. He is making his first appearance against the Volcanoes since August 3rd when he allowed five runs through two innings and brought his ERA up from one to 4.91. And because he was taken out after two innings, he was not eligible for the win. But in his next three starts afterward, he would be absolutely masterful. And in fact, two of his last three starts, he struck out double digits. Uh, at Spokane on August 26th, he struck out 10 through 4 and a third. And on August 21st, he struck out 11 through 6. As really the outing against Salem Kaiser was the last bad start that he's had over the course of this season. Currently, he is 3 and 0 with an area of 2.23, 32 and 2, 32 and a third innings, excuse me, in nine games and eight starts. He'll face off starting with the second baseman in Yorlis Rodriguez, the designated hitter, Jairo Pomares, and the center fielder, Alex Canario. Those will be the first three hitters in the lineup. In the middle of the order will be the left fielder, Armani Smith, the third baseman, Luis Tribio, and the, thir and the first baseman, Carter Aldretti. And in the bottom three hitters will be the right fielder, Quan Adkins, the catcher, Brandon Marcherano, and the shortstop, Abdiel Lair. He'll face off against Hillsboro's Tyler Holton. While for the home team, the Hillsboro hops against the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes starting pitcher, which will be Kervin Castro, the 20 year old from Maracay, Venezuela, he is looking to get his get some redemption after his last start against the hops. And is also looking to get his first win against Hillsboro. He started against the hops one time that was here, and he allowed four runs through six innings. Walking no one and striking out six. And that was back on July 15th. As the Volcanoes will look to get a good quality start from him. The lineup that he'll face off against, he'll start off with the second baseman, Ricky Martinez. The right fielder, Jorge Barosa. And the third baseman, Tristan English, who was named just a couple of days ago as the Northwest League Player of the Month in the month of August. With a 349 batting average. Over the course of the month of August, he has a batting average of 290 total on the season. Batting cleanup will be the designated hitter, Ryan January. The five hitter is the, is the shortstop, Leo Ver Pagero. And the center fielder, Corbin Carroll, who just came back from injury, is batting six. And the bottom three hitters, the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga. The first baseman, Andy Yerzy. And the catcher, Lyle Lynn, will be the bottom three hitters. They'll face off against Kervin Castro. As we'll also get to see who will be on the mound and who the Volcanoes manager, Nesta Rojas, and pitching coach Dwight Bernard will pick to go on the mound in today's game. It is the Volcanoes and Hops for game one. We're going to take another break. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. You will be impressed with the new duplex community in South Salem, 50 Oaks. These smartly crafted homes are ready for purchase in the quiet, secluded neighborhood, close to schools and shopping, with green space that include oak trees and rain gardens. Premium touches include quartz countertops and luxury vinyl plank flooring. They feature three bedrooms with two and a half baths, a garage, and washer dryer hookups. It makes this a complete package to move in today. Call 503-551-5788, 503-551-5788. Batteries Northwest and their Mid-Valley dealers remind you that summer is tough on car and truck batteries. 
The extra heat, stop and go traffic, and the air conditioner are all factors in causing wear. If your battery is starting to crank a little slower, it's time for a new battery, and you should have your connections checked too. You don't want to be at the beach or in the mountains and lose battery power. Contact Batteries Northwest at 503-362-2684 to find a dealer near you. Or online at BatteriesNorthwest.com. That's BatteriesNorthwest.com. Coming this weekend, the biggest motorsports show of the summer, the 46th Annual Award-Winning Sublimity Harvest Festival presented by Power Chevrolet. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three full days of truck pulls, tractor pulls, and ATV pulls, stock, modified, and super mods, and every day ends with six of the biggest, baddest monster trucks we could find, catching air and crushing cars. It's noisy, it's exciting, and kids are just five bucks. There's live music and an after party in the Coors Light Entertainment Tent Friday and Saturday night, and every day, great food, a kid zone, and plenty to do. Don't miss the fun run and parade on Saturday or the pancake breakfast on Sunday. The Sublimity Harvest Festival, presented by Power Chevrolet, is the most exciting way to end your summer. Just 12 miles east of Salem on Highway 22 and Golf Club Road, the full schedule and tickets are online at sublimityharvestfest.com. I know, you thought your local Domino's couldn't make the $5.99 Mix and Match special any more awesome, but yes, we did. Mix and Match, any two or more of the following. A medium two-topping Domino's pizza, stuffed cheesy bread, eight-piece boneless chicken, pasta dish, an oven-baked sandwich, or our amazing new bread twist for only $5.99 each. And now you can make the pizza a large two-topping for only $3 more. Mix and Match as many of these delicious Domino's items as you'd like for only $5.99 each. And don't forget to make your pizza large for just $3 more. Order online at Domino's.com today. Gardening fever is starting to take hold. If you're ready to get your garden going, come on in to the 13th Street Nursery Covered Greenhouse and find the perfect plant or flowers for your garden. Or visit their new indoor plant room. 13th Street Nursery and Garden Center has a large selection of flowers and plants that will make your garden a showcase you can be proud of. Your landmark nursery in Salem, find them at 13th and Wilbur, 503-413-0386. Like them on Facebook or visit them on the web at 13thStreetNursery.net. That's 13th Street Nursery. Create something beautiful together. This is Volcanoes Baseball, live on your home for Beck, Rush, Newsmaker, Gorka, and Sexton. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here at Ron Talkin Field here on Hillsborough Hops Day. Hillsborough's manager Steve Calloway declaring September 4th, 2019, that's today, as Hillsborough Hops Day as they'll take on the Volcanoes for game one of the 2019 Northwest League South Division Series. Once again, the starting pitchers for both teams, Kervin Castro for Salem-Kaiser and Tyler Holton, the left-handed pitcher for Hillsboro. As both teams are now stretching onto the field, getting ready to play in the first game. Both teams, more players coming out of the dugouts to stretch in preparation for this game. And while these two teams, as well as Spokane and Tri-City, both getting ready to play for the championship there are also some teams who have been eliminated from playoff contention. In remembrance, you have the Everett Aqua Sox with a 500 record of a 19 and 19 record, while the Vancouver Canadians have a second half record of 15 and 23, which is last place in the Northwest League North Division. While the two teams in the South Division, Eugene at 17 and 21, and the Boise Hawks last place, they were 14 games under 500 with a record of 12 and 26, and they had the league's worst overall record as they were 22 games under 500. With a 27 and 49 record here let's take a look at a quick recap of what has happened around the northwest league we do know that the volcanoes they have lost their last two games they lost a couple they, they lost their final game the eugene by a score of six to one as we now take a look at a quick recap of what has happened in hillsborough's final game they played against the boise hawks they were leading by a score of two to one when they scored one run in the fourth two in the fifth two in the seventh and they just exploded with six runs in the top of the eighth inning. And they led by a score of 13 to one before Boise was able to get four runs in the bottom of the ninth. Hillsboro 13 to five, the hops 13 runs on 15 hits. Boise five runs on 10 hits. Danny Olivero, this is where he got that franchise record for wins with eight. This is also a bullpen day for Hillsboro. Olivero was the third pitcher. While for Boise, they had five pitchers on the mound. But it was the starting pitcher, Jeffrey Ocando, that got his eighth loss of the season at 1-8. and eight. Boise finishing off the 2019 season with a record of 27-49. and 49. Hillsboro 
finishing 20 games over 500 with a record of 48 and 28. Now let's go on to the Northwest League North games. First off is the preview, a uh, quote-unquote preview of the Northwest League North Division playoffs. It was actually just started earlier. Uh, just so far, nothing has happened. Tri-City having runners on first and second with one out. But that is all we can say so far. As for a couple of days ago, Tri-City, they beat the Indians by a score of 7-3 to three at Giza Stadium. They jumped right out of the gate with three runs in the first two innings. They scored two in the fourth and two in the sixth to lead 7-1 to one before Spokane would score two runs in the top of the ninth to trim the lead, but that would not be enough. Tri-City, seven runs on 10 hits and no errors, brings their record up to a 500 record of 38 wins and 38 losses, while Spokane now has an overall record of 45 and 31, the third best overall record in the Northwest League and the best record overall in the Northwest League North Division as these two teams are currently facing off in Spokane. Both teams, they were going to Avista Stadium after this game and they are both currently playing right now still no score as spokane was able to get out of the top of the first inning as these as spokane was able to make kevin Melian of tri-city ground out into a double play that ended the top of the first a pretty exciting way to start off a playoff game right there a double play to end the inning and a possible run scoring threat but in this case, Tri-City, a couple days ago, got a 500 record of 38 and 38 due to the win. And finally, the final game for both of these teams, these two teams, they were eliminated from playoff contention, the Vancouver Canadians and the Everett Aqua Sox. It was a very quick game. It started off in the top of the third. Cameron Eden hitting an RBI ground out, made it 1-0. And in the bottom of the fourth inning, Utah Jones hit a solo home run, tied the game up at one apiece. But Everett would take the lead after a two-run double by Trent Tinglestad, the local kid from nearby Marysville, Washington, hits a line drive to center field that would score two runs. Everett would win their 37th game of the season, three runs on seven hits and no errors, while Vancouver, they out-hit Everett, but they were only able to get one run, as both teams also had no errors as well. Garrett Westberg got his fourth win of the season. Parker Karachi for Vancouver getting his fourth loss. The Canadians finishing 16 games under 500 with a 30 and 46 record. While Everett, although they did finish their season on a high note, they finished with a two with a record overall record of 37 and 39, two games under 400. Again, out of the eight teams in the league, four teams are going to be playing for the Northwest League crown for the 2019 season. Right now, Tri City and Spokane currently playing against each other, and that game just started up not too long ago. While well, this game is just getting ready to get underway, both the hops along the first base side and the volcanoes along the third base side are stretching, make, getting their warm-up throws going on, as well as both teams all having a number of players in their respective bullpens for the volcanoes. Their bullpen is just over the left field wall, while for Hillsboro, their bullpen is in right center. We're going to take a break here from Ron Talking Field. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. PT Northwest's Pediatrics and Adolescence Clinic is the only outpatient orthopedic clinic in the mid Willamette Valley whose sole focus is the physical rehabilitation needs of pediatric and adolescent patients. We offer physical, occupational, speech, and pelvic therapy services in an age-appropriate environment. Visit us online at ptnorthwest.com. Now with 11 locations in the Willamette Valley, including Corvallis, Eugene, Staten, Monmouth, Kaiser, Silverton, Woodburn, and four in Salem. The premier sports rehab provider in the Willamette Valley. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was four years old. It's not easy. Every day I have to test my blood sugars and give myself shots. Sue Allen is the legacy health nurse at my school. She gives me hugs and makes me happy. She also helped me become more independent. Now I can do anything, like learn to swim or become a doctor. I'm Gavin, and this is my legacy. Legacy Health. Our legacy is yours. If you're looking for an affordable, incredible family vacation, there's no more majestic, magical, adventuresome country anywhere like the great Western United States. Hello, I'm Mark Hemstreet, owner of Shiloh Inns. We're Shiloh proud to still be offering four-star accommodations at affordable two-star prices where you can enjoy deluxe smoke-free suites, spacious pools, spas, steam and sauna rooms, and fully equipped fitness centers. Enjoy it all from free Wi-Fi in every room to a free continental breakfast 
or full hot delicious breakfast at most Shiloh Inns. And unlike the big hotel chains, there are no hidden fees. Even the kids stay free. And Shiloh Inns are dog friendly for your best friend. For reservations, call 800-222-2244 or visit our website at ShilohInns.com. Shiloh Inns, affordable excellence. American family owned and proud of it. I'm here with Rich Kansky, owner of Green Acres Landscape. Rich, after 20 years, you've rebranded Green Acres. Can you give us some insight as to why the change? Well, as we've evolved as a company over the last 20 years, we started with two employees, and now we have up to 50 employees that offer residential, commercial, municipal, and industrial landscape. We felt the need to better represent who we are as a company and share our business culture with our community. See the new look of Green Acres Landscape on their website at GreenAcresLandscapeInc.com. Green Acres Landscape, leaving no footprint. Extra Mile presents the exploits of Extra Man. What's up? In today's episode, Extra Man discovers a tear in the space-time continuum. It's okay, some duct tape will fix that right up. But now, Extra Man finds himself trapped somewhere in the hunger vortex between breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, and dinner. My hunger knows no bounds. So how will Extra Man deal with this perpetual state of hunger? Quick and easy. Run by Extra Mile convenience store at Chevron, grab some jerky, hot dog, taquitos, maybe a salad or fresh fruit, because it's always time for... Extra Mile. Extras every day at select Chevron locations. Rush Limbaugh, weekdays, 9 to noon, and Volcanoes Baseball at night. A winning combination on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Tucken Field in Hillsboro. Currently, both managers for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes and the Hillsboro Hops, Nestor Rojas for the Volcanoes, Javier Kalina for, with Hillsboro, talking with the four umpires that will be taking care of today's game yes four instead of two currently at third base will be matt barrett the second base umpire will be kellen martin the first base umpire will be guillermo rodriguez and behind home plate will be nick mcfarland for tonight's game there will be the four umpires this will be the umpiring crew for the national league south division series as there is a new crew there is a completely different crew for the north division series and a different crew for the championship as well. These will be the four guys that will be manning this three-game series. Uh, one of the things that the Volcanoes have done exceptionally well at and has definitely got a lot of people's attention on is the pitching, uh, especially over the latter half of the, of the second half of the season, starting from when they played against Bo played in the six-game home set against Everett and Boise. You had Connor Nurse and Kervin Castro having those amazing games against their respective teams both were against boise he had a couple of guys doing a great job as well relief in some cases have been amazing Hasier herrera throwing seven innings against vancouver he's the only volcanoes pitcher to throw seven innings against an opponent you had norwith godino before he was promoted up to augusta throw five scoreless and then he had uh, off and on some games that didn't have a good result but for the most part pitching has been a huge part of this volcanoes team an aspect of where an aspect that never really sh never really was shown in the past few seasons when it comes to the Salem and Kaiser Volcanoes they were normally known for their offense but today in this 2019 season their defense and their pitching also stood up here uh, that led them to their first playoff berth in a while here to talk about the recent pitching performance as well as the new pitchers that the Volcanoes got on the roster here is Volcanoes pitching coach Dwight Bernard so Dwight, uh, when it comes to the Volcanoes pitching, especially in the past series against Eugene, it was definitely something to, to keep an eye on here, especially from the past uh, few new guys that the Volcanoes had uh, on the mound, especially at PK Park. What stood out to you the most uh, for the past six games when the Volcanoes faced off against Eugene? Well, the big thing there was each guy going out and getting a little bit of work and preparing for the playoffs. That was, that was the biggest key to all that. We, we already knew that we were in the playoffs, so winning the games obviously was a first priority, but everybody uh, getting work was, uh, was what we were trying to do also. Uh, one of the big keys from that six-game series was the number of new pitchers to the, that the Volcanoes acquired and got a chance to go onto the mound. Uh, there was one guy who started, Caleb Killian, who threw one hit, uh, who allowed one hit through four innings. You had Taylor Rashi, who kept the no-hitter going in the second part. Uh, or the second game 
of that four-game series, as well as Bryce Femmel, who was really the only pitcher that had a rough outing throughout the entire six the entire uh, six games or the entire six-game series. Uh, what stood out to you the most? What caught your eye about the new Volcanoes pitchers in particular that they got from the Arizona League? Well, the big thing is uh, their composure. Uh, they went out there. didn't seem like anything uh, bothered them at all. The crowds that we played in front of, it just didn't didn't seem like it was an issue at all for them. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty important right now where they, uh, you know, were able to compete and not be nervous, uh, you know, pitching in front of the hometown crowd there also. And, to, and tonight's starting pitcher, Kervin Castro, he is coming off throwing just two innings in preparation for this game. Uh, Dwight, I know that it was only for a couple of innings, but what really caught your attention uh, through the two innings that he threw on the mound? It were a pretty good two innings against Eugene, but in preparation for taking on a very good Hillsboro team, what caught your attention uh, during his last uh, last start? Well, the main thing is, again, preparing himself uh, to uh, pitch in this ball game here, which is probably the biggest uh, uh, and most important game of his career so far. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's uh, very composed, and uh, he knows what he's got to do. He's, he's well prepared uh, to pitch against these guys. It's not going to be a long uh, long outing for him, but, again, it'll be an opportunity for him to show, uh, show what he can do. And that was the Volcanoes pitching coach, Dwight Bernard, talking about the recent pitching for the 2019 season. It is expected to be a big factor here in the Volcanoes playoff run as they'll be looking to go to the championship for the first time since 2009 and to win the championship for the first time since that year in 2009, 10 years ago. Once again, the lineups for both teams for the visiting Salem Kaiser Volcanoes and the starting pitcher for Hillsboro, Tyler Holton, who will face off against his Volcanoes lineup. It'll be the second baseman, Yorlis Rodriguez, the designated hitter, Jairo Pomares, and the center fielder, Alex Canario. Canario, one of two Volcanoes hitters who are hitting over 300 and one of two players in this in, in both lineups to bat over 300 as Canario has a batting average of just over 301 and a 301 average. Al Armani Smith is batting in the cleanup spot as a left fielder. He'll be batting 307 batting average. Batting fifth is the third baseman Luis Toribio. And batting six is the first baseman, Carter Aldretti. The bottom three hitters, the right fielder, Quan Atkins, the catcher, Brandon Marcherano, and the shortstop, Abdiel Lair. Right now, the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes getting themselves pumped up in the dugout for this first game. As for the home team, Hillsboro Hops facing off against the Volcanoes, Kervin Castro. It'll be the second baseman, Ricky Martinez, the right fielder, Jorge Barosa, and the third baseman, Tristan English. And the middle of the order, the designated hitter, Ryan January, the shortstop, Leo Vera Peguero, and the center fielder, Corbin Carroll, and the bottom three hitters for Hillsboro, the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga, the first baseman, Andy Yerzy, and the catcher, Lyle Lynn. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes have won the Northwest League first half division title, and they are hungry, but so are the Hillsboro Hops, the team that have been in this position last year and lost to the Eugene Emeralds, who eventually won the Northwest League Championship over Spokane. And the Volcanoes, they are pumped up over there at the dugout, waiting to get on the field, waiting to play this game and make the series go their way to start off the 2019 playoffs. For anyone who is looking to listen on throughout the course of this game, I'm just going to tell you right now, the next three hours... Any, in the next three hours, anything can happen. It can even, it may not even be three hours. It could be two and a half. It could be four. Who knows? But anything can happen in the next few three to four hours. It could be normal and mundane, or it can be the best kind of pure insanity here at Ron Hawkins Field. You don't want to leave. You don't want to go anywhere for this. As we come back from this break, game number one, the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes playing against the Hillsboro Hops. The crowd here is excited as Hillsboro is looking to, uh, looking to start off the series right to them, but the Volcanoes have other plans. Again, the first three hitters for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes that will be up at the plate when we come back will be the second baseman Yorlis Rodriguez, the designated hitter Jairo Pomares, and the center and the center fielder Alex Canario, the defensive alignment for Hillsboro. Just to start things off, will be on the mound will be Tyler Holton, 
behind the plate, it will be Lyle Lynn. On the infield at third base is Tristan English, the shortstop, Neil there, Paguero, the second baseman, Ricky Martinez, and the first baseman, Andy Yerzy. For the outfield at left field is Jesus Mariaga. The center fielder will be Corbin Carroll, and the right fielder will be Jorge Barosa. And the designated hitter for the pitcher, Tyler Holton, will be Ryan January. The defensive alignment for Salem Kaiser really quickly. Before we get to this final break on the mound, Kervin Castro behind the plate will be Brandon Marcherano. On the infield at third base is Luis Toribio. The shortstop, Abdiel Lair. The second baseman, Yorlis Rodriguez. And the first baseman, Carter Aldretti. And the outfield for Salem Kaiser at left field is Armani Smith. The center fielder, Alex Canario. And the right fielder, Quan Ogkens. With Jairo Polares playing as the designated hitter for the pitcher, Castro. Again, the Volcanoes looking for their first division series win. Looking to start this series off right on their direction. Winning the first, winning the series for the, winning their first division series since 2009. They are in the playoffs for the first time since 2015. Uh, one more time, anybody who wants to see this team play tomorrow, they're going to be playing on September 5th. There's still a lot of seats available. And anyone who wants to know anything about the remaining seats at Volcano Stadium, go on the website, volcanosbaseball.com, as well as calling 503-390-2225. That is where you'll find all the information that you need to get playoff tickets for tomorrow, September 5th, game two between the Hops and the Volcanoes. Now, here at Ron Tocken Field, we are going to be going to our final break. It will be game number one, Hops and Volcanoes. The next three hours, good or bad, will be pure insanity. And it's all going to be here. We're going to take a break here. 1430 KYKN, Salem is listening. Built as user-friendly as it is budget-friendly, the Kubota Z100 zero-turn mower can maneuver any landscape and cut a lawn worth admiring. With smooth controls and a cut that's adjustable right from the seat, this machine makes mowing way more comfortable, all while delivering professional-grade results. Find yours at your local dealer. Kubota. Shape your world. See Lynn Benton Tractor just off Highway 34 and 99 East in Tangent and online at lynnbentontractor.com. If you need your house painted, don't call me. If you need some plumbing done, don't call me. But if you need electrical work for your home business, call me, Jeffy, at A&A &A Electrical Contractors, 503-949-3193. From exterior lighting to chase away those raccoons and clowns at night, panel upgrades, give us a call today, 503-949-3193, CCB 153711. That's A&A &A Electrical Contractors. Too often, people come to Huggins and Bliss Insurance after they've had a loss with a different company and found that significant portions of the loss were not covered. You take steps to drive safely and protect your home against fire and theft. Take the next step to have your current coverage reviewed by an advisor from Huggins and Bliss Insurance. Worst case scenario is that you find out that your coverage is exactly what you need. In most cases though, holes in your coverage will be identified and the experienced staff at Huggins and Bliss will show you how to close those gaps. Don't get caught up in a position where you must come up with thousands of dollars to pay for something that could have been covered by an insurance policy. Come get peace of mind from Huggins and Bliss Insurance, Salem's locally owned, trusted choice. For more information, call 503-585-2211. That's 503-585-2211 or online at Huggins.com. Are you concerned with how you will maintain your current lifestyle throughout your retirement years? Have you thought about how you will provide for a monthly cash flow from your retirement account while maximizing its value over the long term? This is financial advisor Rob Jackman of Jackman Wealth Management LLC in downtown Salem. Call me at 503-990-6830 to learn both answers and solutions to these questions. That's 503-990-6830. Securities and insurance products are offered through LPL Financial and its affiliates, member FINRA and SIPC. 
If you're looking for flooring this fall, all you have to do is stop by Valley Flooring Center. Jason and his team take pride in the work they do. Come browse the showroom floor with hundreds of different flooring options, including carpets, vinyl, and plank flooring of all types. Valley Flooring Center has been serving the Mid Willamette Valley for years. Being locally owned and operated, you will get the service you deserve. Valley Flooring Center, located at 4930 River Road or online at valleyflooringcenter.com. Flooring for all walks of life. Welcome to the ballpark. It's time for Salem Kaiser Volcanoes Baseball. Presented by Power Kia, Legacy Health, McDonald's, Les Schwab Tires, PT Northwest, Chevron Extra Mile, By Mart, Fitzpatrick Painting, and Green Acres Landscape. Now it's time to play ball with the play-by-play -play of your Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. Here's Payne Pageant on 1430 KYKM. Salem is listening. Uh, good evening, everybody, and a Heidi howdy ho here from Ron Talkin Field in Hillsboro, Oregon. 77 degrees on a single cloud in the sky. The sun setting off into the distance. The perfect weather for postseason baseball for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. First time since 2015 they're playing in the playoffs, looking for their first championship league championship series appearance since 2009. They're going to face off against Hillsboro, starting with the Second baseman Yorlis Rodriguez walking up to the plate. The starting pitcher for the Hillsboro Hops will be Tyler Holton, the 23-year-old from Tallahassee, Florida, was drafted last year out of Florida State in the 2018 draft. Did not play at all in 2018 due to receiving Tommy John surgery. This is his first season, making his ninth start and his tenth appearance with the Hops this year. And the windup and the first pitch is a fly ball. That one going in the short right field. Ricky Martinez, the second baseman, is under it. And that is how we're going to start the postseason without number one, 7.06 p.m., just a minute behind schedule, and we have postseason baseball underway here at Ron's Hawking Field. And we now go to the designated hitter, Jairo Pomares, who is, has a batting average just un, just over 200 at 207. Holton, 3-0 and with an area of 2.23. He is... Struck out 10 or more batters in his last few starts. First pitch is a changeup outside and a strike one looking above the knees, 0-1. The last time that Holton faced off against the Volcanoes, he threw, he allowed five runs through two innings. The 0-1, that's a lip rip shot above the Volcanoes dugout along the third base side. Count is 0-2. That is Pomares. He'll be looking for the pitch. The 0-2, a changeup from Holton, a foul ball over the third base line. Holton, 32 in the third innings, 22 hits, eight earned runs. He has walked four and has struck out 51. The 0-2 pitch, that's a chopper, fielded by the first baseman, Yerzy, down the side, tossing it to Holton. He'll make the play for out number two. And the first step, second out here in the top of the first inning. Andy Yerzy fielding it on the Astro turf infield, tossing it to the pitcher, Holton, for the second out of the inning. Uh, Holton in 32 and a third innings. That is not a typo. He has walked four batters and has struck out 51. In his last actual start on August 26, he struck out 10 through four and a third. And in the start before that, on the 21st against Eugene, he struck out 11 through six, walking one and allowing three hits to be accurate. The last time he ever had a rough start was against his Volcanoes team. First pitch to Alex Canario is a curveball, swing and a miss and a strike one. The defensive alignment for Hillsborough on the mound, Tyler Holton behind the plate is Lyle Lynn. Wind up in the 0-1, and the pitch is upstairs. It's a fastball above the letters inside, one and one to the right-handed hitter, Canario. And the infield at third base, Tristan English. The shortstop, Leo Vera Paguero. The second baseman is Ricky Martinez. The 1-1 one, one is a strike two looking on a curveball down the middle. Canario not taking a chance at that one. The first baseman will be Andy Yerzy. A ball and two strikes, two outs here at the top of the first. Holton get the sign from Lynn. Lynn moving a little inside. The one, two, that's a swing and a miss on an inside fastball. And that's going to end the top of the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Salem Kaiser, nothing. And Hillsborough coming up. Curvin Castro making his 15th start of the year and is looking 
to start his own redemption arc here after losing and his only stuck against Hillsborough here at Ron Hawkins Field. You're listening to the 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Uh, Miss Jennings, please explain to the jury what happened. Well, I was running late. I ran down the stairs into the kitchen, and that's when I saw him. He was... I can't. Well, go on. He was making instant coffee. Good mornings deserve good coffee. At McDonald's, we brew ours fresh with 100% Arabica beans. Now get any size iced coffee or small McCafe espresso, like an iced caramel macchiato for $2, or any size hot coffee for a buck. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Great deals are happening right now at Cascade Farm and Outdoor, now open in Kaiser. Save with deals for your furry friends. Taste of the wild prey pet food is 15% off. Hunting season is just around the corner. Save on all hunting boots. They're $20 off. And shop our great deals on outdoor gear. All fishing combos are 20% off. Gear up for Northwest Living for Less at Cascade Farm and Outdoor. Northwest, homegrown, honest values. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head. And one of the things we have that is absolutely stunning is our Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And we have them starting at small amethyst pieces for just $10 up to our large geodes, and they're called Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And they're purple in color, and they come from Uruguay, and they're just beautiful. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head, 110 North Water in historic downtown Silverton. This is Volcano Spaceball on your home for Newsmakers with Brent and Day. Weekdays at noon on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here in the bottom of the first inning. Hillsboro taking their first crack to get some runs on the board. Starting pitcher for Salem Kaiser is Kervin Castro. Face off against Ricky Martinez. First pitch is a fastball way too inside at ball one. To start off the inning, Kervin Castro 5 and 3 with an ERA of 2.66, allowing 20 earned runs and 67 in two thirds innings, striking out 51. The 0 1 pitch, that's a strike one looking, a fastball right down the middle. My mistake, he struck out 61 through 67 and two thirds. Count at 1 and 1. Castro is already in the stretch, facing the plate. The 1 1 pitch is a ball two and a fastball under the knees, under the zone, 2 and 1. First three hitters for Castro, starting with the second baseman, Ricky Martinez, followed by the right fielder, Jorge Barroso, switch hitter. The 2-1 is a strike. No, that's a ball two and a fastball. Just misses the zone. The home plate umpire here for tonight's game, Nick McFarland. At first base is Guillermo Rodriguez. Second base is Kellen Martin. And the third base umpire is Matt Barrett. A 3-1. That's a shot going in the center field. Running for it is Canario. Canario's under. It's going to make the catch in short center field for out number one. Or should I say the second base umpire is Kellen Martin. I just realized I said second baseman there. That's my bad. And we now go to the right fielder, Jorge Barosa. He hasn't made a start against the Volcanoes in the last series that they played in because he was injured. Now he is fine. That was back in mid, around early August, mid-August, around that area. First pitch is a swing and a miss. And a fastball, strike one to the left-handed hitter, Barosa. He's a switch hitter, but he's going to be batting lefty. Number three hitter will be the third baseman, Tristan English, who is the Northwest League hitter of the month in the month of August. The 0-1 pitch is a chopper down the first base side. Foul count is at 0-2. English, the third baseman, had a 349 average and five home runs. It's just a couple of the stats that he had that got to that honor. The 0-2 pitch is a foul ball. That one popping up in the air. That's caught by the catcher, Brandon Marturano. The defensive alignment for the Volcanoes on the mound is Kervin Castro. Behind the plate is Brandon Marturano. On the infield at third base is Luis Ribio. The shortstop, Abdiel Lair. Second baseman, Yorlis Rodriguez. First base is Carter Aldretti. Castro ahead of the count of 0-2. Wind up and the pitch is a ball one on a... Slider that just goes above the zone, one and two. Goes above the letters as well. Now on the outfield for the Volcanoes, at left is Armani Smith. One and two pitch. That's a pop fly. That one looks like it's going to stay playable. Martirano is under it in foul territory. He's going to make the catch for the second out. Brandon Martirano took him a little bit to find out where the ball is. He's got a couple of the players on the field yelling at him to look up because that's still in playable territory. He's able to make the catch. And that's the second out here in the first inning. And now we go to the starting third baseman, Tristan English. Again, a 349 average in, in the month of August. Good enough for the 
Northwest League Hitter of the Month honors as Hillsborough has just been showered with awards, especially in the past week or so. First pitch is a curveball inside at 1-0. English, the 2019 draft choice out of Georgia Tech, drafted in the third round. The windup and the 1-0, that's a foul ball. That one hitting the netting. Behind home plate, count is at 1-1. One one. The last time that he didn't get a hit was on August 26th where he went 0-3 with a run and an RBI against Spokane. So even though he didn't get a hit, he still contributed. But he has just been an absolute monster at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitches a fly ball. This one going the right field. Back goes Atkins. Atkins is in front of the warning track in right field. It was a very well hit ball by English, but Quan Atkins would make the play. And it is a 1-2-3 inning here in the bottom of the first. Scoreless after one. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Are you receiving letters from the IRS or Oregon Revenue? If so, J.L. Morton & Associates can help. This is Janet from J.L. Morton & Associates. Michael, our most recent hire, is an IRS enrolled agent, which in the eyes of the IRS is the same as a tax attorney. Michael can find the solution to your tax problems, even when it looks like there is no solution in sight. Call J.L. Morton & Associates today, 503-540-7323, and let Michael help you solve your IRS tax problems. That's 503-540-7323. Do you want to buy your first home? You've probably heard you need to save a large down payment to even make an offer on a house. But how much? $5,000? $10,000? $20,000? So you start thinking, I'll never have enough saved to buy my first home. Hi, I'm Katie Canales from Team Canales and Landmark Professional Mortgage, and we have good news for hopeful home buyers. You do not need to save a fortune to buy your first home. That's right, you can get into a home with a low down payment or even no down payment at all. Recently, we helped a young family buy their first home just outside of Salem with no down payment. Now, they are in a home that they love and are earning equity instead of throwing money away on rent. To see if you qualify to buy a home with a low down payment or no down payment, apply to get pre-approved at bestloanprogram.com. The form takes less than five minutes to complete and you'll know if you're approved in less than 24 hours. Again, apply at bestloanprogram.com. Go to bestloanprogram.com now so you can stop renting and start owning. Or you can call me at 503-385-4040. License number ML5038, NMLS, COID 399162, NMLS ID 270783, Equal Housing Opportunity Lender. Beck, Rush, Newsmakers, Gorka, and Sexton. The best live talk weekdays is on 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the second inning. Scoreless between the Volcanoes and the Hillsboro Hops. Tyler Holton, the first pitch to the left fielder Armani Smith is a fastball just missed the zone outside. A little above the knees at 1-0. Holton already, the windup in the 1-0 pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a curveball outside. And the count starts off at 0-2. Holton looking to continue from that 1-2-3 inning that he threw in the first. It'll be Armani Smith, Luis Toribio, and Carter Aldretti. The middle of the order, the 1-1 pitch to Smith. That is a check swing and a ball two and a curveball inside. 73 miles an hour. And just gets above the knees. Armani Smith has had one heck of a second half of the season. At one point, is he brought his batting average up from 274 to 324. The 2-1 pitch, that's a rip shot past the first baseline foul. Count stays at 1-2. and two. And it's one thing to have someone have a really good stretch like that. It's another thing to have someone have a really good stretch like that in the second half of the season where teams would normally cool down. The 2-2 pitch, that's a curveball above the zone. And the count is even at two balls and two strikes. And continuing with the defensive alignment on the outfield for Hillsborough at left is Jesus Mariaga. The center fielder is Corbin Carroll. And the right fielder is Jorge Barosa. The 2-2 pitch from Holton. That's a fly ball. That one going in the short center field. Martinez and Carroll running for it. Martinez is in short right center. He's looking to make the play. He'll make the catch for out number one. And here's the third baseman, Luis Toribio. It was one of a couple of new position players for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. He got on the roster at the beginning of the final series of the season against Eugene alongside Abdiel Lair, who is the nine hitter, as well as four pitchers. One of those pitchers being Oregon State's own Bryce Femmel. Wind up in the first pitch is a hey, strike one right down the middle on a fastball. Start, starts off at 0-1. So far with only two runs, a double, walked twice and struck out five times. He's three for 11. The 0-1 pitch is a check swing. The third base umpire... Matt Barrett saying he went, and the count is at 0-2. It was an upstairs fastball that Toribio check swung at. He went around. It was way above the zone. 
And the windup and the 0-2 pitch by Holton. That is a strike three call and a curveball down the middle. And Tyler Holton gets his second strikeout of the night. Brings up the first baseman, Carter Aldretti, the 2019 draft choice out of Arizona State. As Aldretti will look to try and start something here against Tyler Holton. And one thing to note, normally when it comes to starting pitchers for in the Northwest League, it would have them throw five innings, six innings, maybe seven. Uh, if these pitchers are doing pretty well, let's see how far they might go here tonight. First pitch is a foul ball with Aldretti getting under a fastball. It goes behind home plate. It's the netting, probably about a good 20, 25 feet up. And the count starts off at 0-1. Two outs here in the top of the second inning. Tyler Holton, the step back in the windup, the 0-1 pitch. That is a curveball, strike two looking. <laughs> Holton, for the most part, using that curveball to his advantage. He had a hanging curveball that struck out Toribio just earlier. And is using that curveball here against Aldretti. The windup and the 0-2 by Holton. That's a rip shot towards the Volcanoes dugout. Rolls back onto the field of play. That was about a couple of feet away from almost possibly hitting a couple of players that were just hanging on the side of the dugout. But in the end, no one gets hit. And the count's at 0-2. Top of the second inning, no score. Update from the Tri-City Spokane game. Tri-City taking an early 3-0 lead. And the 0-2 pitch is a fastball above the zone. Swing and a miss and a strike three. Tyler Holton throwing a 1-2-3 second inning to keep the game scoreless. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Les Schwab is a proud sponsor of the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. This is a team that puts their heart and soul into every game, whether it's at home or Volcano Stadium or a game in someone else's hometown. Before you head out to your next adventure in a new town or destination, stop by your local Les Schwab for a free visual alignment and brake check. It's the perfect double play for a safe driving experience. Or ask about the Les Schwab free pre-trip safety check. Schedule your next appointment with your smartphone or computer at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, where doing the right thing matters. Extra Mile presents Extra Mass. Sup, Extra Buds? In today's episode, it was a day like any other. Seems about right. Until everything changed. Wait, what? It did? The cravings arrived. Oh, you mean like every day around now, I start craving some tasty snacks. Exactly. How will he fight off this beast? Usual way. Run by Extra Mile convenience store Chevron, pick up some jerky, candy, fruit. Cravings annihilated. Extra Man moves on to the day's next challenge. Yeah, now I'm thirsty for water or energy drink. Guess I'll head back to... Extra Mile. Extras every day at select Chevron locations. Pelvic floor physical therapists are trained to evaluate and treat many kinds of pelvic dysfunctions in men, women, and children. Treating the pelvic floor muscles may help you regain control over acute or chronic symptoms such as pelvic pain or incontinence. Our pelvic therapy services are offered at our West Salem, South Salem, and Pediatrics and Adolescents Clinic locations. Learn more from PT Northwest today at ptnorthwest.com. Now with 11 locations in the Willamette Valley, including Corvallis, Eugene, Staten, Monmouth, Kaiser, Silverton, Woodburn, and Four in Salem. Your home for high school football, Ducks football, and Volcanoes baseball. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here in the bottom of the second inning. Scoreless between the Hops and the Volcanoes. First pitch from Curving Castro to Ryan January is an outside fastball strike one looking. The 0-1 pitch, a curveball, gets under the zone, hits the dirt. Count is even at 1-1. One one. Castro touching 95 miles an hour during that bottom of the first inning, that 1-2-3 inning. Currently has a 1-1 one, one count against Ryan January. Make that 1-2. He touches with a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. That one above the knees, just misses the zone a little bit. And Castro ahead of the count at one and two. Wind up and the one-two pitch. That is a swing and a miss. And a fastball for strike three. And Curving Castro has his first strikeout of the night. But it looks like the Volcanoes may do what they did in Castro's last start, which is only have them throw two innings. As they have a pitcher in the bullpen already in Travis Perry, who has made a couple of amazing outings against the Hops this year. He's was the winning he was the winning pitcher of one of the two road wins that the Volcanoes had here this season. First pitch to Leah Vera Peguero. The shortstop is a fly ball that goes past the first baseline at 0-1. In Castro's last start against Eugene, he only threw two innings. Best assumption, or at least now we know it's an assumption, was that it was in preparation for this game, but it looks like considering he's throwing two innings here, that may be an entirely different reason. The 0-1 pitch is a curveball for a strike two looking. 
for a strike two, an 0-2 count, a curveball down the third base line. It's a foul ball. And Castro, 0-2 against Baguero. That's a one-hopper to the catcher, Brandon Martirano, who has to block it with his chest protector. Count is that a ball and two strikes. Baguero, he started off his Hillsboro hops career against the Volcanoes at Volcano Stadium. The 1-2 pitch is a shot. Now I'm going to left field. Back goes Armani Smith. Smith is going back, making a leaping catch in front of the warning track. What a play by Armani in left field. That easily would have been two if he didn't reach his arm up to make the catch. That gets him for the second out of the bottom of the second inning. What a play by Armani Smith. And that gets Pagaro for the second out. Smith with the first web gem of this series. And we now go to the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Wind up in the first pitch. That's a foul ball. A grounder towards the Volcanoes dugout along the first base side. Carroll, the first round draft choice by the Arizona Diamondbacks out of nearby Lakeside High School from Seattle, Washington. The wind up and the 0-1 pitch. That is a fly ball that passed the third baseline foul. So chances are, because Travis Perry is in the bullpen, he will go on the mound in the third, and that Kervin Castro will possibly be on the mound for a future playoff game. I do believe that is the reason why they're having him only on here for a couple of innings. The 0-2 pitch, running first baseman Carter Aldretti racing to the first base bag, beats Corbin Carroll to it and almost runs into him. It's another 1-2-3 inning and in what might be the final inning for Kervin Castro. Scoreless after two. As you go to the top of the third, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Nature isn't the only force that can leave its mark, especially when you have a tractor built to help make your property your own. The Kubota BX80 series is ready to get any job done the way it should be done. Dig mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver in tight spaces. There's almost nothing it can't help you do. The BX Series, America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Kubota, shape your world. See Lynn Benton Tractor just off Highway 34 and 99 East in Tangent and online at lynnbentontractor.com. If we could convey one thing about Day Heating Company, we'd like you to know that we will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to guarantee your satisfaction. Whatever it takes to ensure your comfort. Whatever it takes to earn your trust. With locations in Salem and Corvallis, let us do whatever it takes to meet your heating and cooling needs. And right now, it is a great time to receive rebates and tax credits. Call us today, 363-4822. Day Heating there is a difference. Two Buck Tuesday is the perfect time to visit North Block Coffee at 640 Commercial Northeast. All 12 ounce drinks are just $2 all day long on Tuesday. Cappuccinos, lattes, mochas, blended coffees, cold brews, Italian sodas, hot chocolate smoothies, and all kinds of iced teas are just two bucks on Two Buck Tuesdays at North Block Coffee on Commercial Northeast. When you pull in, you'll get a smile and have your drink made perfect. See North Block Coffee on Facebook and Instagram. Don't miss Newsmaker with Brent DeHart and Dave Bourne. Weekdays at noon on the Mid Valley's Best Talk, 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back here in the top of the third inning scoreless between the Hillsboro Hops and the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. Holton, the first pitch to the number seven hitter, Quan Adkins, is a strike one looking, a fastball in the outside corner. Hilton. Or Holton, 22 pitches, 18 strikes, now 23-19. The 0-1 pitch is a swing and a miss and a curveball. It's a strike two as the ball gets between the legs of the catcher, Lyle Lynn. No balls, two strikes to start things off for Tyler Holton. And the windup and the 0-2 pitch to Atkins is inside. And a fastball under the knees of the left-handed hitter for ball one. It'll be Adkins, Brandon Marcherano, the catcher, and Abdiel Lair, the shortstop. The windup and the one-two pitch. That is a curveball. That one hit foul going over the side wall into the general admission seating past the third base side. That's a curveball from Holton. Adkins being the first hitter to make contact on that curveball in a while. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Lynn moving a little outside. That's a fastball for a swing and a miss, strike three. And that's the reason why Lynn moved outside is because of that fastball. And Holton has four strikeouts here tonight. Keep in mind, in his last two lengthy starts, 
not counting his last start because he only threw one inning, and that was against Boise. Against Spokane, he threw four and a third, striking out 10, and that was on August 26th. On August 21st, he struck out 11 and 6. First pitch to Brandon Martirano is a curveball outside and a strike one looking. And Tyler Holton, last time that he faced off against the Volcanoes, he was really, really rough. The 0-1 pitch is a strike two looking on a curveball. Right down the middle, he's been using that curveball against the Volcanoes hitters here in the first part of this game. Definitely has gone past a two-inning mark since his last appearance. The 0-2 pitch is a swing and a miss and a fastball for strike three. And Tyler Holton has struck out the last four Hillsboro or the last four Salem Kaiser Volcanoes hitters. And we now go to the number nine hitter, Abdiel Lair. Both teams with no runs and no hits through two full innings. And for Salem Kaiser, two and two-thirds as of this moment. Holton, the windup and the first pitch. That one is a strike one looking at a fastball in the outside corner. That one just above the belt, 0 and 1. Tyler Holton also with an opposing batting average of 183. The 0 1 pitch is a fly ball. That one foul past the first baseline. Count is at 0 and 2. And Holton, the windup and the 0-2 pitch. That's a slow roller foul past the third base side. Count is at 0-2. So right now between Spokane and Tri-City, that game currently a 3-0 Tri-City lead. They scored three runs in the top of the third. Right now it's in the bottom of the third inning. In which the Volcanoes at the... Same time trying to face off against Hillsboro. We'll also see who will win the North Division. The 0-2 pitch is a foul ball past the third base side. Five strikeouts for Tyler Holton in two and two-thirds innings against eight possible outs right now. The count at 0-2, Holton the pitch. That is a curveball chopper down the third base slide. And the count will stay at no balls and two strikes. Uh, the Volcanoes making the interesting decision. I do believe this is because they want to save Castro for a future playoff game. They're going to take Castro out of this game after two innings. And they're going to put in Travis Perry. The 0-2 pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a curveball in the dirt. The catcher Lyle Lynn throwing to the first baseman Andy Yerzy. And Tyler Holton has struck out the side in the top of the third. Both teams still with no hits through two and a half innings. As we take a quick break here from Ron's Hawkins Field, the Volcanoes bringing in a new pitcher who will face off against the bottom three hitters in the Hillsboro batting order. You're listening to 1430. KYKN Salem is listening. Babe, wake up. Babe. Oh, oh no, the room's on fire. Woo, woo. Oh, it's uh, an alien invasion. Pew, pew. I guess I'll just eat this egg McMuffin. Huh? Is there another one? Or... Wake up breakfast at McDonald's. Mix and match two classics for five bucks. Choose from an egg McMuffin or a sausage McMuffin with egg. Each made with real butter and a freshly cracked egg. Price and participation may vary. Can it be combined with any other offer? Combo meal. Limited time offer. Single item at regular price. If you have a plumbing problem, you need done right plumbing and drain. Aaron Hackney and his crew strive to get the job done right the first time. But before you call, you need to stop by HalfPriceOregon.com. You can get a $75 gift certificate on any service for just $19.99. That's right. You can get a $75 gift certificate for only $19.99, but only at HalfPriceOregon.com. Get her done right with done right plumbing and drain. Visit them at DoneRightPlumbingSalem.com. 70% of Oregon's wildfires are started by people. One careless spark can destroy all that we love. It doesn't take much for a wildfire to ignite and spread quickly across our state's beautiful landscape. Everyday activities like mowing your grass or driving your car can spark a wildfire. Be extra careful this summer. Check weather conditions, follow posted fire restrictions, and keep fire tools on hand to be able to extinguish sparks or fires quickly. Go to KeepOregonGreen.org to learn how you can prevent wildfires. Sponsored by the Keep Oregon Green Association, the Oregon Association of Broadcasters, and this station. This is Volcanoes Baseball Live on your home for Beck, Rush, Newsmaker, Gorka, and Sexton. Looking 30 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here in the bottom of the third inning scoreless between Hillsboro and the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. The Volcanoes already bringing in a new pitcher as the 
Next pitcher for the Volcanoes being Travis Perry, the 22-year-old from Morristown, New Jersey, currently standing 6 feet 4 inches, 190 pounds. He has a 5-2 and two record with an ERA of 3.82. He's making his sixth relief appearance this year. He's making his 15th appearance overall. He has a lot of 56 hits, 27 earned runs, walking 25, striking out 47 in 63 and two-thirds innings. The last time he faced off against Hillsborough, he allowed four runs through four innings. But in the appearance before that, he threw six scoreless. And both those games were at Ron Hawkins Field. Perry starting off against the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga. First pitch is a ball one as Mariaga looks to bunt. But it'll go above the zone, above the letters, and... Mariaga moving away from a curveball. Wind up in the 0-1. Perry, that's a deep shot going to left field. Back goes Smith. Smith looking back. He's at the wall. He makes the catch at the wall. Armani Smith, are you serious? Jesus Mariaga giving him a tip of the cap. Armani Smith, are you kidding me? He makes the catch in front of the Volcanoes bullpen for out number one. Wow. That's amazing right there. It brings up Andy Yerzy, the first baseman. Wow, that was cool. There's something about it that makes it extra special when you see it in the postseason. As he makes another amazing play at left field. First pitch from Perry to Andy Yerzy is a ball one on a fastball that just Misses the zone under the knees outside at 1 0. With the windup and the 1 0 pitch, Perry. That's a ball, too. That one, a fastball. Uh, under the letters outside of the zone, Kervin Castro, two innings. No hits, no runs, no walks, and struck out one batter. That was Ryan January. The 2 0 pitch is a ball, three. That one, a fastball. Going down and out, under the knees, out of the zone. Perry's making his fourth appearance against the Hops. And his third start against them, or second relief appearance against them. 3-0 pitch, that's a ball four outside. And we have our first base runner, Andy Yerzy, on a four-pitch walk. Is Hillsborough's first base runner here in the bottom of the third inning. And we now go to the starting catcher, Lyle Wynn, another 2019 draft choice out of Arizona State. He played alongside Carter Aldretti, who was with the Volcanoes. And, and he hasn't had... That good of a history against the Volcanoes overall. He did make his debut with the Hops against the Volcanoes back in mid-June. As he is two for 22 against Salem Kaiser. First pitch is a curveball outside and a ball one. As the catcher Brandon Marcherano looks at Andy Yerzy, he was one for two on stolen bases, but it doesn't mean that he won't have a chance at it. Perry at 1-0, the windup and the pitch. That is a strike one looking, the first strike for Travis. And Travis Perry, the other appearance, the other relief appearance, he allowed one run through four innings on July 14th, a game that the Volcanoes lost. The 1-1 pitch, a rip shot down the third baseline, that's foul. Lyle Lynn getting a piece of a fastball inside. It was, looked like it was at the letters, maybe above it. And Lynn taking a shot at it, ripped down the third baseline. And the catcher with a 205 average overall. But against the Volcanoes, there's two hits and 22 at bats. This year against Salem Kaiser. Count at one and two, Perry. With a runner at first base, wind up and the pitch. That's a blooper going into right field. That's going to be a base hit. Lyle Lynn getting his third hit against the Volcanoes. And Lynn, he was leaning out to the other side of the hitter's box, got a piece of a curveball, and the hops will have runners on first and second base with one out for Ricky Martinez, the second baseman. who flew out to the center fielder, Alex Canario, for out number one, Travis Perry. Now in a situation where Hillsboro has runners in scoring position. That was the first hit from either team, and it was a one-out single by Lyle Lynn. Travis Perry still on the mound, looking to finish off the third. 
Wind up and the first pitch at the ground ball. Fielded by the third baseman, Toribio. Touches the third base back. Throw to first. That is in time for a 5-3 double play. And the inning is over. And Travis Perry gets out unscathed. No runs on one hit, no errors, and a runner left on. Scoreless after three, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Hi, I'm Jaden. My husband Chris and I own Synergize Auto here in Dallas, Oregon. We always have a great selection of quality pre-owned vehicles and power sports, and you'll be working directly with us always. We are a non-pressuring, easy-to-work-with, and family-owned company. We offer financing options, take trade-ins, and do consignments. See our inventory at SynergizeAuto.com. That's S-Y-N-E-R-G-I-Z-E Auto.com. Find us on Google to see what customers are saying. We're all about service and being a dealership you can trust. Hi, this is Michelle at Copycats, located in West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser. We are much more than a full-service copy center. While we have the latest technology in self-service and full-service copy machines, we also offer an amazing array of printing and binding options. Color copying, offset printing, process color printing, laser engraving, and a full color poster. We do it all. Copycats offers a high-quality products and services in addition to printing and copying such as trophies, awards, signs, banners, business forms, and invitations. We also stock hundreds of different papers, from elegant stationery stock to suit every taste. So let copycats of West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser take care of you. Find us online at copycatsnw.com. At Copycats, our cats are paper trained. Your home of the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes all season long. Discover the wonder all over again. Exclusively on 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the fourth inning, still scoreless here between the Hillsboro Hops and the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. Salem Kaiser getting out in the bottom of the third inning. First on an amazing play at the wall by Armani Smith. Definitely up there with one of the best defensive plays of the entire season. And a double play, a 5-3 double play. Toribio touching the third base bag and throwing across the infield the first to end the bottom of the third. Keeps the game scoreless. But the Volcanoes need to get something against their against the hop starting pitcher right now, Tyler Holton, who has gone through all non-hitters here in the first three innings, allowing no hits. Hillsboro has one hit. As the Volcanoes will go back to the top of the order. In the second baseman, Yorlis Rodriguez. Wind up in the first pitch by Holton is a ball one on a change up inside on a 1-0 count under the knees. It'll be Rodriguez, Jairo Pomares, and Alex Canario. The wind up in the 1-0. Holton, the pitch is upstairs and a, another change up for ball two. Holton, he has struck out the last five Salem Kaiser Volcanoes hitters to keep them scoreless. The wind up and the 2 0. That's a deep shot. That one going to left field. Back goes Mariaga. Half of the warning track. That one is gone. The first home run for the Volcanoes in this postseason. And it comes from the second baseman, Yorlis Rodriguez. The Volcanoes have an early 1 0 lead. It's only the second home run for Yorlis. And the Volcanoes lead 1 0 here in the top of the fourth inning here at Ron Zonkin Field. That one. A very well-hit fastball right down the middle. A little above the belt as it goes, I believe, over the Volcano's bullpen in left field. And that is the first hit for the Volcanoes, and that is a solo home run. The first pitch from Holton to Jairo Pomares is a shot off the glove of Holton, but he's able to make the play as he ricochets it, goes up in the air, catches it, throws the first, and that's already the first out in the fourth. The Volcanoes starting off strong with a 1-0 lead. And we now go to the number three hitter in the center fielder, Alex Canario. Who struck out swinging on four pitches in his last time up. Canario leads the Northwest League out of active hitters with nine home runs. First pitch is a curveball, foul grounder. Canario got under the curveball. And it rolls towards the Hillsborough on deck circle. And towards the Hillsborough dugout, Tyler Holton. His first hit he's allowed in his first home run. The 0-1 pitch is a curveball. A little bit outside. That one at the knee. Strike two. One to nothing. Salem Kaiser. Both teams with one hit. 
The count at 0-2, Holton the pitch. That's a foul ball. Oh, boys, beeline straight to the press box. Count it, no balls, two strikes. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times, if there was no netting here with a foul ball going straight to the press box, it would not be pretty at all. No balls and two strikes. Holton, the windup and the 0-2 pitch. That one, a swing and a miss and a curveball outside for strike three. That's the second out in the fourth. Now you now go to the left fielder, Armani Smith. He has already made a couple of nice plays at left field, including a play at the wall where he doesn't rob a home run, but he robs a double. And he also makes a leaping grab where he robs another double. Holton, the first pitch to Smith is a foul ball past the first baseline at 0-1. So Yorlis Rodriguez getting his second home run of the season here tonight. Gives him a one nothing lead. Wind up in the 0-1 pitch. That one is a ball one. A curveball under the zone. And definitely under the knees. Kind of even at one and one. The other game where he hit a home run was back on June 22nd. He hit one at Funko Field at Everett Memorial Stadium against the Aqua Sox. So 1-1 one, one pitch. That one was a hard hit ball. That one going to center field. Corbin Carroll's going back. Carroll is under it and is going to make the catch in deep left center for the third out with the Volcanoes. Will get their first run of the game. One run on one hit. No errors and nobody left on. It is Volcanoes one, hops nothing. As Travis Perry goes back on to the mound in the bottom of the fourth. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Many activities become difficult after injuries or conditions such as a stroke, brain injury, spinal cord injury, or multiple sclerosis. But when people come to PT Northwest for occupational therapy, they find progress is often significant. Occupational therapists at PT Northwest, which specializes in hand and upper extremity injuries, work on helping you develop, recover, and maintain skills to perform daily tasks. Visit PT Northwest today at ptnorthwest.com. Now with 11 locations in the Willamette Valley, including Corvallis, Eugene, Staten, Monmouth, Kaiser, Silverton, Woodburn, and four in Salem. Hello, this is Danny Moore, General Manager here at Creekside Golf Club. We have a fall membership program going on, and I would like to invite you out to see our great facility. We have an 18-hole championship golf course and a fully stocked pro shop with all the top name brands. But we're more than just golf. We have something for everybody. We have two state-of-the-art workout facilities, a fantastic driving range for both summer and wintertime practice, an indoor performance center used for both club fitting and club repair. We also have an indoor simulator, great for fun in the winter months when the weather turns bad. Our two newest additions are two pickleball courts and a bocce ball court. We also have a swimming pool for summertime fun. Our restaurant, Danny's on the Green, has great food and beautiful views of the golf course. We have a large banquet room, great for holiday parties. So as you can see, Creekside has it all. So come on down and let me show you around the best club in town. That's Creekside Golf Club and ask for Danny Moore. Rush Limbaugh, weekdays, 9 to noon, and Volcanoes Baseball at night. A winning combination on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the fourth inning. The Volcanoes leading Hillsboro by a score of one to nothing. After the Volcanoes got their first hit, a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez, the Volcanoes leadoff hitter. Travis Perry now looking to try and keep that lead intact. First pitch is a ball one inside. Jorge Barosa trying to bunt for it. It's a fastball outside for a ball one. Barosa decided to try and nobody himself for an Oscar by getting his hands up in the air, going out of the batter's box. He's now back in. The 1 0 pitch is a strike one looking on a fastball right down the middle. It'll be Jorge Barosa, Tristan English, and Ryan January who will all face off against Perry for the first time. The windup and the 1-1 by Travis here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a curveball and the strike two looking. That is what Travis Perry has been using all season long, and it has been very effective. That early 70s curveball, sometimes using it down the middle, sometimes using it outside, but it always fools hitters. The 1-2 at the fastball, chopper, fielded by Lair, the shortstop, quick throw to first. It'll get Barosa in time for out number one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now here's the third baseman, Tristan English, who flew out to the right fielder, Quan Adkins, for the third out to end the first. English so far 0 for 1. As Travis Perry will look, try and continue his dominance so far, he's been doing it both with guys on base and with 
The base is empty. First pitch is a fastball inside and a ball one almost hits English. In the month of August, English had a 349 average with five home runs, 18 RBIs, and 19 runs. The 01 pitch is a curveball down the middle, 73 miles an hour of pure filth. And the count is even at one and one. He also had six doubles and was hit by a pitch five times. The one one pitch swing and a miss and a curveball outside. An even slower curveball at 71 for strike two. The defense shift to where Rodriguez is on the left side of the second base bag. He's in front of left. He's in left center field. The shortstop Lair is covering left field and Toribio is hugging the line while Aldretti is the only one in right field. The one-two pitch, that's a fly ball going to right. Atkins going back. Atkins, he is under it, and he is in front of the warning track again against English, and he makes the catch again for out number two in the fourth. Uh, now here is Ryan January, who is the only strikeout victim against Kervin Castro, is the only strikeout victim overall for Salem Kaiser Volcano pitching, as Perry will try to finish off the bottom of the fourth here. Salem Kaiser, a run and a hit. Hillsboro, no runs on a hit. Perry, the windup and the first pitch. That is a ball one on a fastball at the letters inside 1 0. And for anybody who wants to see the Volcanoes play tomorrow on September 5th, there's still some tickets available, still some seats available. The 0 1 pitch is a foul chopper past the third baseline, or the 1 0 pitch, I should say. Evens the count up at 1 and 1 with two outs, 1 0 Salem Kaiser. Anybody who wants to see the Volcanoes play tomorrow at Volcano Stadium and have any questions about the playoff tickets, you can go to the website at volcanosbaseball.com or call 503-390-2225 for any more information. The count at one ball and one strike. Ryan January, the left-handed hitter, against Travis Perry, a right-handed pitcher. He's had some success and failures against Hillsborough so far. It's looking pretty solid. The 1-1 pitch, he uses that curveball again, 72 miles an hour. That one a little above the knees and just gets outside of the plate for a ball and two strikes. Travis Perry looking for his first strikeout of the night. The windup and the one, two, and it is a strike three call and a fastball above the knees, and that ends the inning. A one, two, three inning by good old Travis Terrific on the mound, Travis Perry, and that will end the fourth inning. One nothing, Salem Kaiser over Hillsboro. As we go to the top of the fifth, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. You will be impressed with the new duplex community in South Salem, 50 Oaks. These smartly crafted homes are ready for purchase in the quiet, secluded neighborhood, close to schools and shopping, with green space that include oak trees and rain gardens. Premium touches include quartz countertops and luxury vinyl plank flooring. They feature three bedrooms with two and a half baths, a garage, and washer-dryer hookups. It makes this a complete package to move in today. Call 503-551-5788, 503-551-5788. I know you thought your local Domino's couldn't make the $5.99 mix and match special any more awesome, but yes, we did. Mix and match any two or more of the following. A medium two-topping Domino's pizza, stuffed cheesy bread, eight-piece boneless chicken, pasta dish, an oven-baked sandwich, or our amazing new bread twist for only $5.99 each. And now you can make the pizza a large two-topping for only $3 more. Mix and match as many of these delicious Domino's items as you'd like for only $5.99 each. And don't forget to make your pizza large for just $3 more. Order online at dominoes.com today. If we could convey one thing about Day Heating Company, we'd like you to know that we will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to guarantee your satisfaction. Whatever it takes to ensure your comfort. Whatever it takes to earn your trust. With locations in Salem and Corvallis, let us do whatever it takes to meet your heating and cooling needs. And right now, it is a great time to receive rebates and tax credits. Call us today, 363-4822. Day Heating. There is a difference. The Mid Valley's best talk 24 7 on air, online, on your phone, and on Alexa. This is 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the fifth inning. The Volcano is looking to add to their 1 0 lead. First pitch from Tyler Holton, who has thrown 47 pitchers through four innings, facing off against the third baseman Luis Toribio, is a strike one looking on a curveball. It'll be Toribio, Aldretti, and Adkins. The 0-1 pitch is a fastball. No, a curve. Swing and a miss. Strike two. It goes under the zone. Toribio struck out looking on three pitches against Holton and had that curveball shown to him. Third his last at-bat. The 0-2 pitch is a fastball above the zone and outside above the letters ball one. It'll be Toribio, Aldretti, and Adkins who all struck out against Holton 
and their last time's up. The one-two pitch is a rip shot foul. That one going above the Volcanoes dugout. Nice barehanded play by someone who is leaning over the Volcanoes dugout. The one-two pitch, that's a foul ball and on a fastball from Tyler Holtz. And so far, he's been doing a good job of mixing the fastball and curveball. Which is what has been tricking these Volcanoes hitters, except for Yorlis Rodriguez in the last inning. The one-two pitch is a check swing and a curveball outside. Count is even at two and two. Holton has had now two two-ball counts. The other one being Yorlis Rodriguez's home run. He's never had a full count. Two balls and two strikes. Holton, the windup and the pitch to Toribio is a foul chopper. That's three foul balls now. The Volcanoes taking a one nothing lead on a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez. It was his second home run and his 15th RBI of the year. And the second baseman delivers by hitting one over the wall in left field. Two balls and two strikes. The windup and the pitch. That's a curveball upstairs. It's a full count. That one above the letters, a little outside the zone. Full count three and two. First batter for Tyler Holden here in the top of the fifth. The windup and the payoff pitch. That one is a swing and a miss and a strike three on a fastball. And Toribio strikes out again for out number one here in the top of the fifth. And we now go to the first baseman, Carter Aldretti, who struck out swinging against Holton in the second. There's also a chance that Holton may pitch into the sixth, maybe the seventh. Who knows? There is no activity in the Hillsborough bullpen at this moment. Same thing for Salem Kaiser. As so far, this is just looking like a pitcher's duel. Holton, the windup and the first pitch. That's upstairs and a ball one. That one at the letters, just above the zone. 1-0, Aldretti striking out, swinging to end the second inning. On an upstairs fastball that was way above the zone. Aldrete taking a shot at it. The 1-0. That's a swing and a miss and a strike one and a curveball from Holton. 56 pitches. Make that now 58 pitches through four and a third. As the uh, bat with Toribio had a number of pitches on it. The 1-1 pitch is a ball two. That one a curveball hit in the dirt to the catcher Lyle Lynn. Two balls and a strike. The Toribio at bat had nine pitches on it, which is the most pitches he has thrown in an at-bat tonight. Two balls and one strike. That one a chopper. Fielded by the third baseman, Tristan English. Long throw to first. We'll get Aldretti out for the second out in the fifth inning. And we now go to the right fielder, Quan Adkins. The most innings that he has thrown in an outing was back on August 21st, or most innings that he has thrown in a game for Tyler Holton was six against the Eugene Emeralds. On August 21st, he threw six innings, 76 pitches, three hits, no runs. He walked one and struck out 11. The windup and the first pitch by Holton. That's a curveball. Strike one looking on the outside corner. That one un above the knees at 0-1. As Adkins struck out on a 1-2 count for the first out in the third inning. The windup and the 0-1 pitch. That one is a ball one, a fastball around the same spot as the curveball. But it looks like just a little bit outside. Count is even at one and one. As Quan Adkins will try to add to this lead. One and one. Swing and a miss and a curveball for strike two. As Holton is one strike away from getting out of the inning. As he now has eight strikeouts. The one-two pitch. A fly ball going to the foul territory. Left field. Mariaga's under it. Mariaga trying to make a nice play on the sidewall, but he's not able to make it as it goes far into the grassy hill right next to the Volcanoes bullpen and right alongside the left field sidewall right next to the general admission seating. Count is at a ball and two strikes. So far, eight strikeouts for Tyler Holton. He has reached this plateau now for the fifth time this year. Eight or more strikeouts. The one-two pitch is a ball two. That one a fastball under the knees outside. Two balls and two strikes. Here in game one of the Northwest League South Division Series. Here at Ron Toppin Field, two and two. That is a strike three call, then an inside curveball. And that will be the ninth strikeout for Tyler Holton. Another one, two, three inning. 
as the score will stay. Volcanoes one, Hillsboro nothing as Travis Perry will take the mound. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Uh, Miss Jennings, please explain to the jury what happened. Well, I was running late. I ran down the stairs into the kitchen, and that's when I saw him. He was... I can't. Well, go on. He was making instant coffee. Good mornings deserve good coffee. At McDonald's, we brew ours fresh with 100% Arabica beans. Now get any size iced coffee or small McCafe espresso, like an iced caramel macchiato for $2, or any size hot coffee for a buck. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Buying or refinancing a home can be one of the most exciting times in your life and the most stressful. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can help put your mind at ease when it comes to home mortgages. Rates are at near historic lows. Buying, selling, or refinancing? Call Jeff today, 503-949-6302. He can also do reverse mortgages. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can put your mind at ease, 503-949-6302. And MLS number 273136. And MLS number 237701. If you need your house painted, don't call me. If you need some plumbing done, don't call me. But if you need electrical work for your home business, call me, Jeffy, at A&A Electrical Contractors, 503-949-3193. From exterior lighting to chase away those raccoons and clowns at night, panel upgrades, give us a call today, 503-949-3193, CCB153711. That's A&A Electrical Contractors. This is Volcano Baseball on your home for newsmakers with Brent and Day. Weekdays at noon on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the fifth inning. The score right now, Salem-Kaiser 1, Hillsboro nothing. It has been a pitcher's duel at first between Tyler Holton and Kervin Castro, but now it's a pitcher's duel between Kervin Castro and Travis Perry. As Perry has thrown two scoreless innings in relief, is looking to throw his third one here, starting against the shortstop, Lilver Pagera, who had a very nice piece of contact on a 1-2 pitch from Kerbin, as Armani Smith made a nice play on it. It'll be Pagero, Carroll, and Mariaga. Perry, the windup in the first pitch, is a curveball for a strike one looking. He struck out Ryan January looking, mainly with the curveballs, but using the curveballs... The entire time on the mound, wind up in the 0-1 to Pagero. The pitch, that's a fastball, swing and a miss, and a strike two. Pagero is 0-for-1. Corbin Carroll is 0-for-1. And Jesus Mariaga, the third hitter, is also 0-for-1. Two of those three guys being robbed on nice plays by Armani Smith. The count at 0-2, Perry the pitch, that's a ball one. A curveball that makes Pagero step back a little bit. That hits the dirt. The count at 1-2. and two. Right now, going into the bottom of the fifth inning, Tri-City still leading Spokane by a score of 3 to nothing. The 1-2 pitch, that's a curveball for a strike three called. I've said it once, and I'm going to say it again. Travis Perry with 73 miles an hour of pure filthiness with that curveball, and he has now struck out back-to-back -back batters for the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. And here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll, who grounded out to the first baseman, Carter Altredi, for the final out for Kervin Castro. Back in the second. Wind up in the first pitch by Perry. Tries bunting. That goes down the third baseline. Foul. As Carroll tried to bunt for it. He has been pretty quick on the base pass, both in the Arizona League and here with Hillsboro. Here with Hillsboro, he's only got a couple of chances, two for two, because he got with the team late. But in the Arizona League, he had 17 stolen bases. The 0 1 pitch is a rip shot opposite field. That's going to fall in foul territory in left field. A one hopper on the Astro turf into the general admission seating. And the count is at 0-2. But he currently has a 326 batting average, the 18-year-old from Seattle, Washington. Showing the reason why the Diamondbacks draft him. Pretty good season so far. The 0-2 pitch is a fastball outside, way outside at ball one. That one under the belt, but is way outside of the zone. The catcher, Brandon Marcherano, making a nice play, getting it in the left-handed hitter's box. And the count at one and two. Wind up and the one-two pitch. That one is a fly ball. That one is going to be playable. The second baseman, Rodriguez, going forward in foul territory. He's going to make the catch going in the fair territory. Yorlis Rodriguez is going to make the play for out number two in the fifth. And now we go to the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga, who easily had the most convincing piece of hitting all night for Hillsboro is he had a very well hit ball to left field. But Armani Smith making 
an amazing play on the wall to rob him of at best a double it wasn't over the wall to where it could have been a home run but it was close enough to be a double first pitch is a bunt fielded by perry throws at the first and the inning is over mariaga tried to bunt for it but the ball goes straight to travis perry and it is a one two three inning for perry to end the fifth no runs no hits no errors nobody left on one nothing salem kaiser going into the top of the six you're listening to 1430 kykn salem is listening John, the owner of John's Decks and Fences, will be on your deck or fencing job every day making sure that every detail is correct. If you're thinking about a deck or fencing project, talk it over with John. He'll be able to help your dream come true. John's Decks and Fences is a family-owned business with low overhead, so that means big savings for you. Many Mid-Valley people are glad they chose John's Decks and Fences for their project. With all the options available, it's good to have an expert in your corner. Contact John at 855-946-5393, CCB number 219-310. This is Sergeant Mike, and I want to tell you about my friends at Larry's Locksmith. I'm sure you all have entry locks right now that need replacing or need to be rekeyed. Perhaps you've put it off because you didn't know who to call or someone that you could trust. Larry's Locksmith service has earned the trust of thousands of Mid-Valley customers. Rapid response for lockouts of buildings, vehicles, or safes. Almost any kind of lock can be replaced or rekeyed by Larry's Locksmith service. Check them out at larryslocksmith.com. That's larryslocksmith.com. Batteries Northwest and their Mid-Valley dealers remind you that summer is tough on car and truck batteries. The extra heat, stop-and-go traffic, and the air conditioner are all factors in causing wear. If your battery is starting to crank a little slower, it's time for a new battery, and you should have your connections checked, too. You don't want to be at the beach or in the mountains and lose battery power. Contact Batteries Northwest at 503-362-2684 to find a dealer near you. Or online at BatteriesNorthwest.com. That's BatteriesNorthwest.com. Rush, Newsmakers, Gorka, and Sexton. The best live talk. Weekdays is on 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the sixth inning. Still a one thing Salem Kaiser game over the Hillsboro Hops. Tyler Holton on the mound, possibly for the final inning of the night for him. As he'll face off against the eight, nine, and one hitters, Brandon Marturano, Abdiel Lair. And Yorlis Rodriguez, Marcherano struck out swinging. Abdiel Lair struck out swinging. But Yorlis Rodriguez has been the difference in this game, hitting a solo home run. First pitch by Tyler Holton is a ball. That one, a curveball. Very close, but just gets outside of the zone. And it goes above the belt from the right, away from the right-handed hitter, Marcherano. Wind up on the 1-0 pitch. That one, a curveball. Another outside curveball. This one, outside of the zone by a lot, almost into the right-handed hitter's box. And the count is at 2-0. Brandon Marcherano, Lair, and Rodriguez. The 2-0 pitch by Holton. That's a swing and a miss and a fastball outside. Strike one. Under the knees, outside. Marcherano taking a shot at that one. Marcherano struck out on three pitches. This is the only other at bat. The 2-1 pitch. That's a strike two. Looking on a curveball down the middle. Marcherano looking like he was going to go around with it a little bit, but does not. And the count stays at two and two. The wind up and the pitch. That's a swing. And Nick McFarland, the home plate umpire, said he went. That is a strike three, which means that Tyler Holton is now have double digit strikeouts for the third appearance this season. The third start this year, where he has 10 or more strikeouts. He has 10 here. And now we go to the number nine hitter, Abiel Lair, who struck out swinging against Tyler Holton. After a few foul balls, the one thing that has been keeping the Volcanoes afloat has been the pitching. The windup and the first pitch, that's a chopper. That one past the glove of the pitcher, Holton, fielded by the second baseman, Martinez. Throws the first and gets Lair out in time for out number two. So he won't have a chance to get 12, but he'll have a chance to tie his career high of 11 strikeouts. Here in tonight's game, he had 11 against Eugene, which is the last time that he threw six innings in a game. And now we go to Yorlis Rodriguez, the only person for the Volcanoes who has a hit. As he also has a solo home run back in the top of the fourth inning, which has been the only major thing that has happened in this game tonight. And we're in the top of the six. Holton, the windup and the first pitch. That one inside and a ball one on a fastball. That one above the knees. But it makes Rodriguez move a little bit inside and a ball and no strikes. 
Bolton already the wind up and the 1 0 pitch. That one is a bunt attempt by Rodriguez, but it goes under the zone on a fastball 2 0. Rodriguez trying to bunt to get on base. He has the only hit for the Volcanoes. The 2-0 pitch by Holton. That one is a ground ball. That one into the glove of the third baseman, Tristan English. Quick throw to first. Guess Rodriguez out in time. It, get, it made English hesitate for a quick second, trying to get the ball in the glove, but the inning will be over for Salem Kaiser. Another 1-2-3 inning for Tyler Holton going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Travis Perry going back onto the mound. As they'll face off against the 8-9 and 1 hitters trying to keep this 1-0 lead, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Les Schwab is proud to help celebrate America's favorite pastime and sponsor the always enthusiastic and teamwork-driven Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. Like the crews at Les Schwab, the Volcanoes know how important it is to work together and make the right play at home or on the road. Les Schwab is here to help you make the right play when it comes to keeping you and your family safe on the road. Whether you need new tires, wheels, or a free visual inspection of some of your vehicle's most important parts, schedule your next appointment with your smartphone or computer at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, we're doing the right thing matters. That's not all. When a Boone Ridge senior community resident is telling a friend about all the wonderful amenities at Boone Ridge, it's because the list is endless. Things like open restaurant style dining with made to order meals. How about a bistro and wine bar? A full schedule of planned events and activities. You will truly experience extraordinary at Boone Ridge senior community in South Salem. For more information, go to BooneRidgeSeniorLiving.com and schedule a tour at Boone Ridge. At Boone Ridge, you will experience extraordinary. Hey Salem, are you looking for those rare, hard-to-find decor items? The most vintage and unique items are now located in Salem at a new store called Furbish, a salvage place. We have furniture, lighting, and decor options for your home, as well as reclaimed materials for your next do-it-yourself project. We can even build something for you in our custom shop. Stop in and ask for Jake. Furbish is located on 12th Street, just south of Mission. Open Thursday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday from noon to 5 p.m. Look us up at FurbishSalvage.com. We look forward to seeing you at Furbish, a salvage place. Your home for high school football, Ducks football, and Volcanoes baseball. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the sixth inning. Tyler Holton's night is possibly done. There is a pitcher in the bullpen for Hillsboro. As he has thrown six innings, allowing a hit, a run, walking no one, but striking out ten. That is the third time this year that Tyler Holton has struck out ten or more batters. As Travis Perry will take the mound for his fourth inning of relief, it'll be Andy Yerzy, Lyle Wynn, and Ricky Martinez in what is looking like to be a pitcher's duel here at Ron Tonkin Field. The sun currently setting with shades of red and orange and yellow off in the distance past right field. First pitch to Yerzy is outside in a ball one. Travis Perry started off the third inning after Jesus Mariaga got out walking Yerzy on four pitches. The 0-1 pitch is a swing and a miss and a fastball for strike one. Andy Yerzy has had a very rough past few years in the Diamondbacks organization. This is his second season with the Hops. The 1-1 pitch, that's a swing and a miss and a slider outside for strike two. And the count is at a ball and two strikes. And Yerzy, he tried going up to Kane County. He didn't do so well. So there's a chance that he may play for Hillsboro again next year the one two pitch that's inside and a change up for two and two two balls and two strikes under the knees inside travis perry two and two wind up in the pitch to yersey that is a ball three on a curveball full count three and two that is the first full count by salem kaiser volcanoes pitching tonight the second overall tonight in what has been a very remarkable pitching performance so far from both teams. The payoff pitch, that one is a fly ball. That one playable. Toribio is going for it. Marcherano's running for it. He's right near the netting. That's going to hit the top of the netting, and the count's going to stay full. It looked playable for a second. Toribio was trying to get it, and Marchuano came running in. And Travis Perry, the 22-year-old, drafted last year out of Indian River Junior College in Florida. In his last appearance at Eugene, he threw five innings, allowing four hits, four runs, walking two and striking out six, but he got his fifth win of the season. 
The windup and the payoff pitch. That is a chopper. Fielded over the head of the first baseman already. Tries throwing up to Perry, who touches the first base bag. And that's an amazing defensive play by the Volcanoes. A 3-4-1 to get Jersey out at first. Because of the Astro turf, the ball got over the glove of the first baseman, Aldretti. But what a job by Yorlis Rodriguez. Fielding that ball in short right field, right near the line. Throwing it to Travis Perry with not that much time to spare. And it gets Yerzy out for the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. An amazing play by the Volcanoes defense as we go to the nine-hitter, Lyle Lynn. Wind up in the pitch. That's a ground ball straight into the hole in center field. Lyle Lynn has been the top offensive player for the Hops here tonight. As he is now two for two, he hits a ground ball straight back into the hole in center field. And that was on the first pitch to Lynn as well. He had two hits against the Volcanoes entering tonight. And he now has two hits tonight. And we now go to Ricky Martinez, who is 0 for 2. He hit into a double play his last time up. That got Andy Yerzy out at third base. When Luis Toribio fielded a ground ball, touched the third base bag and threw the first. Perry with a runner on first base, wind up and the first pitch is a curveball outside and a ball one. So that is the second hit for Hillsborough here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And both hits have come from their catcher, Lyle Lynn, who has not been good at all against the Volcanoes this year until today. Again, he was two for 22. He is now two for two tonight and four for 24. The windup and the 1-0, that is a strike one looking on an inside curveball, one and one. Perry trying to use that curveball to the best of his ability here, and he's been doing that ever since he got onto the mound. Runner on first base, that's the game-tying run for Hillsborough. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Perry looking over at first base towards Lynn. Wind up and the 1-1 pitch, that's a fly ball foul past the first base side. Uh, so far, Hillsboro, they have had no runs on two hits. So far, they've left one runner on, but they can get Lyle Lynn left stranded on base. It could be a second guy. And so far for Salem Kaiser, it's one run on one hit and nobody left on. No errors from either side. And we just got past the one hour mark. The first pitch was 7.06. It's 8.16. Been a little late on that, but it's 8.16 p.m. here at Ron Tonkin Field in Hillsboro, Oregon. The count at one and two. Perry, the windup, fastball, ball two on a fastball that goes up and away. Above the letters, two balls and two strikes. One, nothing, Salem Kaiser. Travis Perry has two strikeouts on the night. As the Volcanoes tried to squeeze out a win in one of the toughest places to play in the entire Northwest League. Two balls and two strikes. Travis Perry. The windup, the pitch, that's a chopper down the third baseline foul. And Martinez stays alive. It was on the first pitch in the last at-bat for Ricky, where he hit a ground ball and went straight to Toribio, who then ran to the third base bag, got Jersey out, and then threw to first base to get the 5-3 double play. As the Volcanoes try to get an edge here in this series before going back home to Volcano Stadium tomorrow. As the fans here at Ron Tonkin Field cheering on the Batgirl as she had to run all the way in the left field to field the foul ball. To get the foul ball. Two balls and two strikes. Perry still ahead of the count wind up. And the pitch to Martinez, that is a ball three. A nice job by Monterano, who throws to first. He picks up the runner, and it gets Lyle Lynn out to first base. What a job by Brandon Monterano. He picks off Lyle Lynn at first base for the second out of the inning. It was a curveball outside to the left-handed hitter's box. Monterano seeing that Lynn was nowhere near the first base bag and throws to the first baseman, Carter Aldretti, who tags him. And now it's a full count three and two. And now Perry has a chance with one more pitch to end the inning. That is the latest of a many defensive gems for the Volcanoes. Payoff pitch. That's a ground ball into the hole in left field. And Hillsborough will get another base hit. This one on a two-out single by Martinez in left field. 
And we'll continue the inning in the bottom of the sixth. Jorge Barosa, who is 0 for 2 with a foul pop out in the ground out. He popped out in foul territory to March Rano in the first inning, and he grounded out to the shortstop Abdiel Lair on a 1-2 count against Perry in the fourth. A nice job by Brandon Marturano to make the quick decision to throw the ball. And Perry now has a chance with one more out to get out of the sixth inning. Game-tying run is on first base. Barosa. Look, at wind up on the first pitch. Marturano throwing a second. Does he have him in time? Yes, he does. Brandon Marturano. The shield hero behind the plate ends the inning. He comes down, Ricky Martinez. And the inning is over. Another amazing display of amazing Volcanoes defense, of incredible play, and that ends the sixth inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. The Volcanoes lead one to nothing. We're going to take a quick break here listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Hey, KYKN fans, are you listening? Tom March, your residential real estate specialist from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Real Estate Professionals. Are you thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate? If you'd like to give me a call at 503-881-9230, I'll meet with you and listen to your real estate goals. We'll call it a job interview. If you like me and what I offer, we can do business together. There's no hard sell, just casual conversation. Tom Marks, 503-881-9230. Nature isn't the only force that can leave its mark, especially when you have a tractor built to help make your property your own. The Kubota BX80 series is ready to get any job done the way it should be done. Dig, mow, haul, and comfortably maneuver in tight spaces. There's almost nothing it can't help you do. The BX Series, America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Kubota, shape your world. See Lynn Benton Tractor just off Highway 34 and 99 East in Tangent and online at lynnbentontractor.com. You need to change your oil, so don't put it off. Go to First Loop Plus and get their $34.99 oil change for only $24.99. Mention the volcanoes and you save $10. You'll get a smile from your tech and excellent service. There's no hassle or pushy sales guy to deal with. They just want to change your oil and keep your vehicle running great. The Volcanoes $24.99 special just makes your experience even better. First Loop Plus is downtown at 615 Liberty. They're also an authorized U-Haul rental outlet. It's First Loop Plus in downtown Salem. The Mid Valley's best talk 24 7 on air, online, on your phone, and on Alexa. This is 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the seventh inning. The Volcanoes leading Hillsboro by a score of 1 0. And so far, the biggest story regarding this game has been the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes defense. A couple of key web gems by Armani Smith, a double play, and a couple of nice plays back in the previous half inning by Brandon Marturano. Keeps this a one nothing game. Marturano gunning down Lyle Lynn at first base, and then trying, trying to catch him going back to first, and he catches Ricky Martinez stealing at second base. He's now 15 for 24 on the season in stolen bases. And the Hillsboro Hops bringing in a new pitcher in 21-year-old Nick Snyder from Marlton, New Jersey. He was drafted into the 2019 draft out of the University of West Virginia. He is currently 2-0 with an ERA of 0 in 9 appearances. In 16 innings, he's allowed only 2 hits, no runs, walked 9, and struck out 27. Snyder, the first pitch to Jairo Pomares is a foul ball. He gets under a fastball from Snyder to start off the top of the 7th. The Volcano still leading 1-0 and only have 1 hit on a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez. The windup and the 0-1 pitch by Snyder. That one, a ball, strike two looking. Looked like a ball from here in the, this from a different angle, but it's a strike two looking on the outside corner. In 16 innings, Snyder, nine walks, 27 strikeouts, an opposing batting average of 0-42. The count at 0-2, Snyder, the windup and the pitch to Pomares is a swing and a miss and a curveball outside for strike three, as it'll be Pomares, Canario, and Smith as the Volcanoes stick with this one nothing lead. Travis Perry most likely going on to the mound in the seventh inning. That may be the case. As he has been doing a really good job throwing four scoreless innings of relief. Snyder now against the center fielder Alex Canario who has struck out twice tonight. Wind up in the first pitch. That is a strike one looking at a fastball. 
On the outside corner, under the knee, a little bit outside, count at 0-1. Hillsboro's defense shifts to where there's three infielders on the left. This one a fly ball past the first baseline foul and a changeup from Snyder. You have the third baseman, English, hugging the line. The shortstop, Pagero, covering left field. And Ricky Martinez covering left center. The first baseman, Andy Years, is the only one covering right field. Snyder, the 0-2 pitch. Lynn moving a little inside. The 0-2 pitch is a swing and a miss. And once again, Hillsboro pitching tricks Canario with that inside fastball. And he strikes him out, swinging for the second out in the seventh. And we now go to the number four hitter, the left fielder, Armani Smith, who is one of two Volcanoes hitters that has not struck out tonight, the other player being Yorlis Rodriguez. As Armani Smith, he is 0 for 2 on a pair of on a pop out and a fly out. First pitch is outside on a fastball. Ball one. That one above the knees on a 1-0 count. He faced off against the Volcanoes twice, getting a win in one, one occasion, getting the win, throwing a perfect inning on the 23rd. The 1-0 pitch is outside and a ball two, a fastball. It is outside the zone into the left-handed hitter's box, gets away from the glove of the catcher, Lyle Lynn, and will hit the backstop. The last appearance against the Volcanoes, he threw two innings, allowing no hits, no runs. He walked one and struck out three. Two balls and no strikes. Snyder get the sign from Lynn. The 2-0 pitch, that's a foul ball going over the main roof. And going back onto the field of play where the catcher, Lynn, catches it. And the fans cheering for that. Two balls and a strike. Nice play there by Lynn. He knew the ball was coming back onto the field of play, and he makes the catch. But that would be a strike. Two balls and one strike. Snyder. Standing six foot seven inches, 220 pounds. The two one pitch. That's a ball three on a fastball inside that's above the knees, but it goes inside the zone. As last time he was up on the mound, he threw an inning, striking out two against Boise. Last time he got a win was the appearance prior on the 26th. The three one pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a strike two on a changeup outside on a full count, three balls and two strikes. He got the win. On August 26th, he threw, he threw three innings, walking one, striking out five. He has not allowed a hit since August 11th at Everett. The payoff pitch for Snyder, pop fly. This one going possibly in the foul territory. Lynn running for it, tossing the glove. He's on the on-deck circle, makes the catch, ends the top of the seventh. A one, two, three inning for Nick Snyder, and the score will say one to nothing. Volcanoes over Hillsboro going into the bottom of the seventh inning. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Baseball is one of the greatest American summertime activities ever, and Les Schwab is proud to be a part of it as a sponsor of the Salem-Kaiser Volcanoes. Your Volcanoes lineup is all about teamwork, and so is the team at your local Les Schwab. As you plan your next Volcanoes or vacation road trip, stop by your local Les Schwab first. They'll perform a free visual inspection of some of your vehicle's most important parts to keep you and your family safe on the road. Schedule your next appointment with your smartphone or computer at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, where doing the right thing matters. Johnson's Funeral Home in South Salem is locally owned, which is a rarity today. Miles Johnson is a Sprague High grad. His wife, Erin, manages the household with their eight adorable kids. Budgets are tight for everyone. The Johnsons understand that better than anyone. Their affordable pricing helps ease the burden at such a critical time. Johnson Funeral Home, cremations, funerals, celebrations of life, and pre-planning. Check out their glowing reviews on Google and five-star rating on Yelp. See more at johnsoncelebrations.com, johnsoncelebrations.com. Former Phantom of the Opera star Frank D'Ambrosio will perform in Salem September 7th for the Enlightened Theatrics inaugural fundraising gala, Broadway to Salem. He will perform an evening of Broadway songs not to be missed. Gala tickets include a red carpet welcome, hosted cocktail hour, and dinner catered by the Wild Pair, immediately followed by an intimate evening with Frank D'Ambrosio on stage. Get your tickets now for this one-of-a-kind evening in downtown Salem. Tickets may be purchased at enlightenedtheatrics.org. This is Volcanoes Baseball Live on your home for Beck, Rush, Newsmaker, Gorka, and Sexton. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the seventh inning. Salem Kaiser leading the Hillsboro Hops in game one of the Northwest League South Division Series by a score of one to nothing. If they can hold on to this lead. They can take a one nothing lead as they would go to Kaiser tomorrow to face off against the Hillsboro Hops in game two. Again, there are information about tickets 
tomorrow. They're the information uh, volcanosbaseball.com well, well, as well as 503-390-2225. That is information if you want any information about tomorrow's game. First pitch from Travis Perry to the number two hitter, Jorge Barroso. We're going to have to press the reset button on this at bat. First pitch is a strike one looking on a fastball down the middle. It'll be Barosa, Tristan English, and Ryan January. The 0-1 pitch is a rip shot past the third baseline. And the count is even at, or now the count is 0-2. As it was in the middle of Barosa's at bat where Ricky Martinez got gunned down at second base. Volcanoes pitching has been the story of the game so far. Kervin Castle with two perfect innings and Travis Perry shutting down Hillsboro ever since. Perry getting the sign from Brandon Marcherano. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. That is a swing and a miss and an outside slider. And Travis Perry gets his third strikeout of the night for the first out here in the top of the seventh. And now here's the starting third baseman, Tristan English. He has flown out to the right fielder, Quan Adkins, twice. The 2019 draft choice, third round out of Georgia Tech, who made his debut with the Hops against the Volcanoes earlier this season, as well as a number of other players, Lyle Lynn, Corbin Harrell, Leovera Peguero. The first pitch is a curveball for a strike one, looking an outside curveball to start off with an 0-1 count. It looks like there is a pitcher in the bullpen. Hard to tell from here who it is. The 0-1 pitch, that's a curveball, swing and a miss. This time, someone swings at it and misses. That's English on a 72-mile-an-hour curveball, 0-2 now. That was the third strikeout for Travis Perry. Got it against Jorge Barossa here in the bottom of the seventh. Wind up and the 0-2, Perry the wind up. The pitch at the ground ball, fielded by the third baseman, Toribio. Throw to first, is up, goes over the head of the first baseman. Carter Aldretti, it's an error. Uh, by Toribio, and English is going to go to second base. Toribio threw it high over the head of the first baseman, Carter Aldredi, and Hillsborough has a runner on from second base. The ball will get into the seats, which means that there's going to be a runner at second base. And the Hops have the game-tying run in scoring position here in the bottom of the seventh inning, a one nothing score right now for Salem-Kaiser. And now here's Ryan January, who has struck out twice tonight. It's the first time since the third inning that anyone's ever gone to the gone to second base for Hillsboro. Perry, first pitch to the left-handed hitter January. Wind up first pitch. That's a fly ball foul. Past the third base side at 0-1. The Volcanoes have been key with their defense as there has been a couple of nice plays by Armani Smith early. Brandon Marcherano gunning a couple of guys down. Count at 0-1, Travis Perry getting the sign from Marcherano. Wind up in the 0-1, that is a ball one. On a slider outside, count is even at one ball and one strike. As Perry, once again, with a runner in scoring position, he was in this scenario back in the third, his first inning of work. One and one, Perry the pitch. That is a ball out. We're getting away from Marcherano, and English is going to go to third. A wild pitch by Travis Perry, and it's now a 2-1 count. And now Hillsborough has the game-tying run 90 feet away. Two balls and a strike. Travis Perry going to talk to Brandon Marcherano. The Volcano is currently with a 1-0 lead over Hillsboro here in the bottom of the seventh. And Travis, he has been in a scenario like this before where he's trying to keep a lead, but he has runners in scoring position. Let's see if he can hold off Hillsboro here. Two balls and a strike. Perry against the left-handed hitter Ryan January, who has struck out twice. Once against Castro, once against Perry, the 2-1. That is a ball three. A curveball inside. It's a 3-1 count. The shortstop, Leovere Peguero, is on deck. He is 0-2 with a fly out to left and a strikeout. So the count is 3-1. and one. As Travis Perry is going to have to try the curveball here. He's going to have to try the curveball. 3-1. Perry. 
Getting the sign from Mark Toronto. Wind up in the pitch. He does the curveball, and it's a strike two looking. January thought that was a ball four. That's exactly what Perry did. He tried the outside curveball, and the count is now full. Travis Perry with a chance to get the second out. It would be a huge out. January has struck out twice here tonight. Full count. Perry, wind up. Payoff pitch. That's a fly ball. That one going foul. That's the first base side. January has struck out twice tonight. He has struck out swinging in the second, looking in the fourth. And Travis Perry with a chance to get a huge out here in the bottom of the seventh. Then Travis Perry, full count three and two. Wind up, payoff pitch. That's the curveball. That's a strike three call. That another outside curveball. Travis Perry doing it again. And the Hillsboro Hops fans, particularly the season ticket holders, whatever there are left here in the playoff game, who are right now behind home plate, they are booing the home plate umpire, Nick McFarland, over that strike three call. And that's two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. And here's the shortstop, Leo Van Pagero, who is 0 for 2 with a fly out to left and a strikeout. The Volcanoes leading 1 0. The Hops have the game tying run 90 feet away. First pitch. That's a curveball. Swing and a miss and a strike one. Pagero, one of a couple of people that started his Hops career against. The Volcanoes, the 0-1 pitch is an outside fastball, strike two looking. And Nick McFarlane getting more boos here. And there was at one point where he had a bunch of calls go against the Volcanoes one game. Now he's having a bunch of calls here that are not making the Hillsboro fans happy. Count is at 0-2, Travis Perry. The windup, the pitch outside, that's a ball one. A check swing by Pagero. It's a fastball, it goes outside, one and two. The shortstop, Pagaro, 0 for 2 with a fly out to left and a strikeout. Salem Kaiser trying to keep their 1 0 lead. Perry in the stretch. The wind up. The 1 2 pitch. That's a curveball that almost hits Pagaro as it makes him fall on the right handed hitter's box. And the count is at 2 and 2. That was a curveball that Perry lost control of. No way that was intentional. It makes Pagaro fall onto the ground, and the count is now two and two. Perry ahead of the count. Two balls and two strikes. The windup. The pitch. That is a swing and a miss and a strike three. 72 miles an hour on the curveball from Travis Perry. Five innings of scoreless relief. No runs, no hits, one error, and one runner left on. What an amazing performance. By Travis Perry, we go to the top of the eighth. one nothing. Salem Kaiser over Hillsboro. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head. And one of the things we have that is absolutely stunning is our Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And we have them starting at small amethyst pieces for just $10 up to our large geodes, and they're called Amethyst Cathedral geodes. And they're purple in color, and they come from Uruguay, and they're just beautiful. This is Walker Yates with I've Got Rocks in My Head, 110 North Water in historic downtown Silverton. At Day Heating and Day Energy Solutions, we offer complete home comfort together in one place. With a variety of heating and cooling systems and a full range of energy-related home improvements, including insulation, duct leakage testing and sealing, energy audits, performance assessments, and more. How can we help you be more comfortable in your home? Give us a call and find out. Day Heating and Day Energy Solutions. Complete home comfort together in one place. 363-4822. If you have an accident in your car or truck, call Jackson's Body Shop at once. This third-generation family business has repaired thousands of vehicles right here in Salem. They have an excellent working relationship with insurance companies and will make sure your car is returned to its prior condition. The Jackson team brings you great service with a personal touch. They always say, give us your keys and you will be pleased. Jackson's Body Shop on Silverton Road. Call today or visit them online at Jackson's Autobody. That's jacksonsautobody.com. 
Don't miss Newsmakers with Brent DeHart and Dave Bourne. Weekdays at noon on the Mid Valley's Best Talk, 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back here in the top of the eighth inning. An amazing job by Travis Perry, striking out the side, leaving a runner on third base. It keeps it a 1 0 score. First batter for the Volcanoes will be left handed hitter Luis Toribio. First pitch is a ball one. This one, a well hit ball in the center field. Corbin Carroll is under it and is going to make the catch for out number one on a 1 0 count. And already we have out number one here in the top of the eighth. As Nick Snyder is back on the mound for his second inning of work in what has been a pitcher's duel, Salem Kaiser one run on one hit and one error. Hillsboro no runs on three hits and no errors. And now here is Carter Aldretti, the first baseman, wind up in the first pitch, a swing and a miss and a fastball for strike one. That is also most likely going to be the final inning for Travis Perry. There are a couple of pitchers in the bullpen for the Volcanoes, the 0-1. That is a slider under the strike zone, under the knees, count is even at one and one. There's a couple of pitchers in the Volcanoes bullpen that will possibly come in after Travis. Perry has thrown five scoreless innings of relief. Maybe he'll make it six in the eighth. The one one pitch, that's a ball two and a fastball inside, two and one. Aldretti is over two with a strikeout and a ground out. And Salem Kaiser gonna be playing tomorrow at Volcano Stadium. Where there's still a bunch of tickets available. Two and one, snag to the pitch. That's a foul grounder. Hitting the backstop behind home plate. Two balls, two strikes on a changeup from Snyder. And for anyone who wants to know more about tickets to tomorrow's game, you can go on volcanosbaseball.com or call 503-390-2225 if you want to know any information regarding the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes and their tickets for the first home playoff game in four years. The 2 2 pitch, that's a strike three call, then a slider down the middle. And Nick Snyder gets his third strikeout of the night. That's 13 strikeouts for Hillsboro, yet they trail one to nothing. While for Travis Perry, he has one, two, three, four, five strikeouts, total of six. And, Hill and Hillsboro has been held to seven scoreless innings. So now here's Quan Adkins, the right fielder, someone who has struck out twice against Nick Snyder. Wind up in the first pitch. He's going to bump for it. That will go down the first baseline. That's going to be fielded by the first baseman. Yerzy touches the first base bag, gets Adkins in time. And we're already at the end of the top of the eighth. As the Volcanoes may bring in a new pitcher, we don't know for sure, but we're going to take a quick break here, and we're going to find out. one nothing Salem-Kaiser. Over Hillsboro, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Babe, wake up. Babe. Oh, oh no, the room's on fire. Woo, woo. Oh, it's uh, an alien invasion. Pew, pew. I guess I'll just eat this egg McMuffin. Huh? Is there another one? Or... Wake up breakfast at McDonald's. Mix and match two classics for five bucks. Choose from an egg McMuffin or a sausage McMuffin with egg, each made with real butter and a freshly cracked egg. Price and participation may vary. Can it be combined with any other offer? A combo meal, limited time offer, single item at regular price. We at Shiloh Inns are proud to be celebrating more than 44 years of providing you, our loyal customers, with Shiloh's sincere friendliness, efficient customer service, and clean, comfortable, attractive, non-smoking rooms and suites, all at an affordable price. Hello, I'm Mark M. Street, owner of Shiloh Inns. Our customers love our many free amenities, like free Wi-Fi and free continental breakfast, or hot, full, delicious breakfast at most Shiloh Inns, as well as our spas, steam, sauna rooms, exercise fitness facilities, and business centers. And at Shiloh Inns, even the kids stay free. And for you dog lovers, Shiloh is very dog friendly. If you ask your best friend where they want to stay, we think you'll get a pause up for Shiloh Inns. For reservations, call 800-222-2244 or visit our website at shilohinns.com. Shiloh Inns, affordable excellence. American family owned and proud of it. Rush Limbaugh, weekdays, 9 to noon, and Volcanoes Baseball at night. A winning combination on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the eighth inning. Travis Perry is indeed done after five innings of relief. And he is currently online for his sixth win of the season. We're going to have a call to the bullpen brought to you by Cozy's New York Deli. 
You won't make an error at Cozy's because they'll hit it out of the park. The new pitcher will be 22-year-old Miguel Figueroa from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Currently no wins and no losses with an ERA of 2.08. And with a couple of saves under his belt in 17 and a third innings, he's allowed 12 hits, seven runs, four of them earned. He has walked 10 and struck out 17 with an opposing batting average of 185. And I believe he is making his second appearance against the Hops. And he is. As he pitched against them on August 9th, which which is at Volcano Stadium, which means the Volcanoes won that game. He threw two innings, allowing a hit, a walk, and a strikeout on 33 pitches. And the Volcanoes trying to hold on to that one nothing lead. Figueroa will face off against the six, seven, and eight hitters, starting with the starting center fielder, Corbin Carroll. who I believe now is wearing a different jersey number. I had him originally wearing jersey number 34. He's wearing jersey number 28. Volcanoes still with one hit, and that was the solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez in the fourth inning. Wind up in the first pitch by Figueroa to Carroll is outside and a ball one. That one above the letters, above the zone, 1-0. It'll be Corbin Carroll, Jesus Mariaga. And Andy Yerzy, a ball into strikes. Figueroa, the windup, the pitch. That's a ball two. That one under the knees, under the zone, 2-0. and The last time Figueroa was on the mound, he pitched on August 30th against Eugene. Two and two-thirds innings, allowing a hit, no runs, no walks, struck out three in 37 pitches. The 2-0 pitch is a ground ball fielded by the first baseman Aldretti. Tossed it to Figueroa, can't get the first base in time! It's an infield single for Corbin Carroll using that speed to get on base. It was a chopper that was fielded in deep right field, right near the line. He, he couldn't, Aldrete knew that he couldn't run the first base. He tossed it to Figueroa, and he wasn't able to get to the first base bag, and that was a really close play right there. As it, the hops will have a runner on first base for the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga. Nobody out here in the bottom of the eighth. Figueroa, throw to first, will not be in time. That gets away from Aldretti. Figueroa's going to go to second base, and he will get there, and an error by Figueroa. <laughs> Salem Kaiser still leading one to nothing. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, That was a one hop with the ball getting away from the first baseman Aldretti. The second error for the Volcanoes. The shortstop, Abdiel Lair, walking up to the mound to talk to Marchuano as Mariaga is up at the plate. As he has yet to throw in a pitch against Mariaga, the left fielder. one nothing. Salem Kaiser over Hillsboro. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, Figueroa now needs to get out of this eighth inning, needs to leave this runner at second base. Needs to leave this runner on base here. As Figueroa is looking to throw the first pitch to the left fielder, Jesus Mariaga. Figueroa again the sign from Marchuano. The wide up and the first pitch, that is a strike one looking on a slider down the middle. The key to the Volcano's lead has been defense. So the sky is the limit when it comes to what the defense can do over the course of this game. Count at 0-1. Figueroa with the pitch. Swing and a miss and a fastball strike two. Mariaga 0 for 2 with a fly out and a bunt ground out. He flew out to the left fielder Armani Smith and an amazing play by him. Also grounded out on a bunt attempt to the pitcher Travis Perry on the first pitch he saw in the fifth. Figueroa, the count at 0-2. Marcherano moving a little outside. Wind up in the 0-2 pitches. A swing and a miss and a strike three on a slider. And Figueroa getting a huge out for the first out of the eighth inning. And now here's the first baseman, Andy Yerzy, who is 0-1 with a walk and a ground out. As if Figueroa could get the next two guys out, it would be absolutely huge. 
Runner at second base for the Hops. Second error for Salem Kaiser that has Carroll at second base. First pitch is a chopper. That one down the first baseline foul. That's one on a fastball from Figgy. Figueroa standing currently six feet, two inches, 165 pounds, right-handed pitcher. He has two saves on the year. The last one on August 20th against Boise where he threw two, two and two-thirds innings, allowing a hit, a run, a walk, and struck out two on 36 pitches. The count at 0-1 to Yerzy. The windup and the 0-1, that is a ball one. And a changeup outside under the knees. Count is even at a ball and a strike. Yerzy this season has a couple of home runs against the Volcanoes this year. He has two home runs, seven RBIs, a 244 average. Here he is 0 for 1 as he was walked for the seventh time against the Volcanoes earlier in this game. The count at 1-1, one and one. Figueroa stepping off of the rubber to look at Corbin Carroll, the center fielder. He represents right now the game-tying run. Figueroa, a ball and a strike. Wind up and the pitch to Yerzy. That's a shot. That one's going to fall. That one's going to go into the right field. Riding around third is Carroll, and the game is now tied at one apiece. An RBI single for Andy Yerzy, and we are now back to a brand new ball game here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Now, Hillsborough may bring in Nick Snyder, but they also might bring in a new pitcher as well. The Volcanoes need to get some runs on the board here when they get back on offense. And as the first run for Hillsborough in the bottom of the eighth, Andy Yerzy gets an RBI single, his 35th RBI of the season. As we now go to the catcher, Lyle Lynn. Game is now tied at one. Travis Perry getting a no decision. There is someone who is throwing in the bullpen, but I doubt he's going to go on to the mound. The Volcanoes have someone in the bullpen at the moment to replace Figueroa. First pitch is a ball one. A nice job by the catcher, Brandon Marturano, the picket on the other hitter's box, the left-handed hitter's box, to look over at first base towards Jersey. The count at 1-0. and Game is now tied at one apiece here in game one. Figueroa in the stretch. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a strike one on a slider to Lynn. He is the only, Vol not the only Volcano, the only Hillsboro hops hitter with multiple hits tonight. Still with one out here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Figueroa in the stretch, one and one. Runner at first base and in. And the Yerzy wind up and the pitch. That is a chopper fielded by Toribio, who throws the second for one, can't throw to first. Is the second baseman Rodriguez. It's the fielder's choice. Toribio fielding the ball after a couple of hops, making a nice play. Tossing it to second to get Yerzy out at second. That's only the second out in the bottom of the eighth. The Salem Kaiser, now they need to get their offense back up and running now as it'll be the leadoff hitter, Ricky Martinez, who had a base hit on a full count in his last at-bat. That was the fifth hit by Hillsborough when it scores Corbin Carroll, ties the game up at one. And Figueroa in the stretch, looking to throw the first pitch, and he will. That's a ball one, nice shot by Brandon. That hits the chalk of the other hitter's box at 1-0. and oh. The next three hitters for the Volcanoes will have a chance to take the lead, will be... Brandon Marturano, Abdiel Lair, and Yorlis Rodriguez. The eight, nine, and one hitters again. As there have been no walks and only one hit has been committed by the Volcanoes. The 1-0, nice job by Brandon. A nice job of keeping the ball in play. Loses it for a second, but is able to get it as it is behind the home plate umpire, Nick McFarland. Two balls, no strikes. Game is tied at one. The Volcanoes, a run on a hit with two errors. Hillsboro, a run on five hits and no errors. The go-ahead run for Hillsboro's at first base in Lyle Lynn. Timeout by Salem Kaiser with Brandon Marcherano going over the talk to Figueroa. 
There's a chance that Snyder may be used in the ninth inning as Hillsboro has arguably the best pitching staff in the Northwest League. You could say one of the best pitching staffs in recent years. They have a team low ERA of 2.87 in the entire season, which has been the lowest ERA for any Northwest League team in a while because as far as the stats can go is 1990. So it has been as low been that low since 1992. Oh, that is a strike one looking on an inside slider, two and one. Bottom of the eighth inning. Game is tied at one. The Volcanoes, they still have a chance to get out of this inning. Two and one. Figgy, the pitch. That's a chopper down the third baseline. Foul. Two and two. That's a fastball inside, and Martinez gets a piece of it. Takes a couple of hops, but it'll go in foul territory. Game is tied at one. The Volcanoes have only one hit, and that was in the fourth inning on a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez, and it gave the Volcanoes a 1-0 lead. But now Hillsboro has tied the game up on an RBI single by Andy Yerzy that scores the leadoff hitter Corbin Carroll. 2-2. Two and two. Figgy, ahead of the count. Runner at first base. The wind-up band, the 2-2 pitch. That's a fly ball foul past the first base side. That one going into the seats. And the count stays at 2-2. Two two. Martinez is 1-3 for three with a fly out to center. He grunted out to the third baseman, Toribio, on a double play. And he got a single, but then was caught stealing second base. This is right after... Lyle Lynn was picked off at first by Brandon Marcherano. An incredible inning by him. Two balls and two strikes. Figueroa ahead of the count with a chance to end the inning. Figgy, the 2-2 pitch swung. That is almost swung on. Upstairs, full count, 3-2 and two on a changeup. That went above the zone and above the letters. Miguel Figueroa is currently facing off in a full count. The Hops tie the game up at one. Runner on first. The wind up and the payoff pitch. Runner goes. That's a foul ball. Lyle Lynn looking to go to second. He hasn't had that many chances to try and steal it all. Ricky Martinez is now four for nine in stolen base attempts. And Figueroa with a chance to finish off the inning here. Full count, three and two for the first time for Figgy and the second time in two innings. Wind up in the payoff pitch, runner goes. That's a chopper down the third baseline. That is a foul ball fielded by Toribio. As he made an effort after it, but it will be foul. And before this, the Volcanoes did a really good job of keeping the Hops offense on check with seven scoreless innings. But Andy Yersdy getting an RBI single in the right field. Scores Corbin Carroll from third, ties the game up at one apiece. And now the Volcanoes need to go through the gratuitous task of getting some runs on the board and trying to do it against the league's best pitching staff. Wind up and the payoff pitch from Figueroa. Wind up and they fly ball. That would go right field. Adkins is under it. Adkins is going to make the catch and that's going to end the eighth inning. A run will score. One run on two hits, an error, and a runner left on. This is a brand new ball game going into the top of the ninth inning as the Volcanoes will have a chance to take the lead before the Hops will have a chance to Respond. We're going to take a break here. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Buying or refinancing a home can be one of the most exciting times in your life and the most stressful. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can help put your mind at ease when it comes to home mortgages. Rates are at near historic lows. Buying, selling, or refinancing? Call Jeff today. 503-949-6302. He can also do reverse mortgages. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can put your mind at ease. 503-949-6302. 
and MLS number 273136 and MLS number 237701. Coming this weekend, the biggest motorsports show of the summer, the 46th annual award-winning Sublimity Harvest Festival presented by Power Chevrolet. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three full days of truck pulls, tractor pulls, and ATV pulls, stock, modified, and super mods, and every day ends with six of the biggest, baddest monster trucks we could find, catching air and crushing cars. It's noisy, it's exciting, and kids are just five bucks. There's live music and an after party in the Coors Light Entertainment Tent Friday and Saturday night, and every day, great food, a kid zone, and plenty to do. Don't miss the fun run and parade on Saturday or the pancake breakfast on Sunday. The Sublimity Harvest Festival, presented by Power Chevrolet, is the most exciting way to end your summer. Just 12 miles east of Salem on Highway 22 and Golf Club Road, the full schedule and tickets are online at sublimityharvestfest.com. Your home of the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes all season long. Discover the wonder all over again. Exclusively on 1430 KYKN, Kaiser Salem. And we are now back in the top of the ninth inning. An RBI single by Andy Yerzy ties the game up for Hillsborough against the Salem Cadger Volcanoes at one run apiece. The Volcanoes once again facing off against Nick Nick Snyder, who is making his third inning of relief, who is pitching in his third inning of relief. Tyler Holton going to get a no decision here after striking out 10 through 6. As we go to the top of the ninth, the Volcanoes. A must-win game before they go to Kaiser for game two. As Nick Snyder is on the mound, all six foot seven of them. Standing in front of the mound, we'll start off against the catcher, Brandon Marcherano, who is 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Snyder, the windup and the pitch, out the swing and a miss and a curveball strike one. It'll be Brandon Marcherano, Abdiel Lair, and Yorlis Rodriguez. Snyder. And the sign from Lynn steps a little bit outside. Owen won the pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a fastball for strike two. Marcherano striking out twice, both on an 0-2 count and a 2-2 count. The Volcano's trying to start something here in the top of the ninth. The 0-2 pitch. That one is upstairs and a ball one and a fastball. The at-bat will stay alive. And a ball and two strikes. Abdiel Lair 0 for 2. Yorlis Rodriguez with the only Volcanoes hit. The 1 2 pitch. That one's a fly ball going to center field. Carroll's going back. Back goes Carroll. Carroll looking up. He's going to make the catch at the warning track. And Corbin Carroll running towards the Hillsboro Hops bullpen, making the catch for the first out in the ninth. On a very well hit ball by Brandon Marcherano. And we now go to the number nine hitter, Abdiel Lair, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. Lair entering today. He was two for 11. Now he's two for 13. He's gotten a couple of balls towards him on defense. First pitch is inside and a strike one looking on a fastball. The first three hitters for Hillsborough in the bottom of the ninth, Barossa, English, and January. The wind up and the 0-1 pitch to Lair. That's a pop fly. That one's staying in the infield. The first baseman, Andy Yerzy, is under it. The guy who hit the RBI single is going to make the catch for the second out. And now here is Yorlis Rodriguez. He has the only hit for the Volcanoes. Back in the top of the fourth with a solo home run. That gave the Volcanoes a 1-0 lead. That 1-0 lead is now gone. They're tied at one run apiece. And the Volcanoes also possibly going to put another pitcher on the mound in the bottom of the ninth. First pitch to Snyder is a fly ball. That one going the short center. Carroll and Martinez running for it. Martinez making the catch, and that's going to end the top of the ninth. Another one, two, three inning, and the game is tied at one. And the Volcanoes possibly bringing in a new pitcher in the bottom of the ninth. They're trying to avoid being walked off. It'll be Barossa English in January. You're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. 
PT Northwest is considered the premier sports rehab provider in the Willamette Valley thanks to their work with the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, the Corvallis Knights, Oregon State University, Western Oregon University, Willamette University, and many local high schools. PT Northwest treats a range of ailments and has many specialties such as hand, pelvic, speech, and pediatric therapy. If you want to find out more, visit us at ptnorthwest.com. Now with 11 locations in the Willamette Valley, PT Northwest is the official sports rehab provider to the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. Hi, this is Michelle at Copycats, located in West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser. We are much more than a full-service copy center. While we have the latest technology in self-service and full-service copy machines, we also offer an amazing array of printing and binding options. Color copying, offset printing, process color printing, laser engraving, and a full color poster. We do it all. Copycats offers a high-quality products and services in addition to printing and copying such as trophies, awards, signs, banners, business forms, and invitations. We also stock hundreds of different papers from elegant stationery stock to suit every taste. So let Copycats of West Salem, McMinnville, and Kaiser take care of you. Find us online at copycatsnw.com. At Copycats, our cats are paper trained. This is Volcanoes Baseball on your home for newsmakers with Brent and Day. Weekdays at noon on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back in the bottom of the ninth inning here from Ron's Hawken Field in Hillsborough. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes trying to avoid getting walked off here in game one of the division series against the Hillsborough Hops. It will once again be Miguel Figueroa who will be assigned to shut down the hops here in the bottom of the ninth so that the Volcanoes will have a chance to score in the 10th. As they'll start off against the right fielder, Jorge Barosa. The situation that the Volcanoes are in right now, very reminiscent of what happened back in the previous road series against the Eugene Emeralds, where they had to win a couple of games and extras. The first pitch from Figueroa to Barosa is a ground ball. Fielded by Lair. Nice pick. Nice throw. Did they get him in time? No, they didn't. He dropped it. Another error by Salem Kaiser in the game-winning runs on base. Lair with a wild throw that goes to the feet of Aldredi. And Hillsborough has the game-winning run at first base for Tristan English, the third baseman, who got on base on the first Volcano's error. Uh, Figueroa once again with a runner on base. As he'll try to get through the ninth inning with keeping that runner on base as now the next three hitters for sure will be English, January, and Peguero. And Figueroa getting the sign from Marciano. Wind up in the pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a slider for strike one. So when the top of the 10th inning comes, the runner at first base will be your list. It'll be Jairo Pomares, Alex Canario, and Armani Smith that will not face off against Snyder because there's a pitcher in the Hillsborough bullpen at the moment as Snyder, because he was drafted in 2019, will be done after three innings of relief. The 0-1 pitch by Figgy. That's a ground ball. Straight to Lair. Nice play. Throws to second for one. He gets it for the fours. Can't throw for two. What a play by Lair. He throws the ball from the seat of his pants in short left field. And it will get Barosa out at second base. That's the first out. So now here's the designated hitter, Ryan January, who has struck out in all three appearances he's had at the plate. A nice job by Lair of Keeping that ball from going to the outfield, he throws the second for the force because that's the safe bet for him. Yorlis Rodriguez not able to throw to first, so Hillsborough will have the game-winning run on first base again as the error will be nullified towards if Figueroa will get an earned run or not. First pitch is a fastball under the zone at ball one. January struck out on a 1-2 count twice and struck out on a full count his last time up in the seventh against Travis Perry. Lair stationed behind the bag in right center. The 1-0, that's a strike one looking on a slider that just gets a little outside, but it's in the zone across the plate, one and one. One out here in the bottom of the ninth. 
is possibly going to be a new pitcher for Hillsboro. Both teams going to be using some pitchers that they have not been planning on using for this game. If they want to stay alive and get the first game of the series, the 1-1 pitch, Figgy, the windup. That's a ball two on a fastball outside. Two balls and a strike, fastball above the knees. Runner at first base right now is Tristan English. He represents the game-winning run here in the bottom of the ninth for Hillsboro. As January is looking to get his first hit of the night, two balls, one strike. Figgy, the windup, the 2-1. That's a swing and a miss and a strike, two on a slider. And the count at two and two. The Volcanoes, like I said earlier, they have been in this situation before. They played at Eugene and have played in extra innings with the opposing team tying the game here late. And they would score in the top half of the inning, see if they can continue that trend with extra inning games. Two balls and two strikes. March Toronto moving a little outside. Figgy, the 2-2 pitch. That's a ball three on a fastball. That just misses the zone at three and two. And it's another full count for Ryan January. Figgy, Miguel Figueroa needing to get this second out. They get one step closer to forcing this game in the extra innings. Game is tied at one. Figueroa. The windup and the payoff pitch to Ryan January. The windup and the throw. That's a ball four, and Hillsborough's going to have runners on first and second. It's the first time since the third inning that they've had multiple runners on base. Now here's Leo Vera Peguero, the shortstop. It will be looking for his first hit of the night, and it would be a huge one. As Figueroa is currently being approached by Brandon Marchuano on the mound. The Volcanoes had the one nothing lead with a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez, but it turns out that's the only hit the Volcanoes could get. As Hillsborough would build up five hits and would score one run and would also get help from a few Salem-Kaiser errors to try and get there. Runners on first and second with one out for Hillsboro. They scored one run in the bottom of the eighth on a single by Andy Yerzy that tied the game up. Figueroa, the windup, the pitch. That's a swing and a miss and a fastball for strike one. It'll be Peguero and Carroll who will be the next two batters up. Peguero, he is 0 for 3, striking out in his last two times up. Carroll is the only hops player that has scored. And Figgy, the count at 0-1. Stadium is rumbling a little bit. The count at 1-1 one one on a fastball that goes under the knees. Count is even at a ball and a strike. So regardless of the result here tonight, both teams are going to play here, play at Volcano Stadium against each other tomorrow for game two. Anyone who wants to see these two teams play will would want to see tickets on the Volcano's website. A call at a ball, the pitch at one and one. Peguero swing and a check swing. Did he go? The infield umpire, Guillermo Rodriguez, says no. Two and one. Anyone who would like Volcanoes tickets to tomorrow's game and game two of the division series would have to look at volcanosbaseball.com or call 503 390 2225. The count at two balls and a strike. Figgy against Leo Vera Peguero. Runners on first and second. Wind up in the pitch. That's a ball three. A fastball under the zone outside. The Volcanoes are in double play position. Runner at second base is Tristan English. Runner at first base is Ryan January. Three and one. Figgy, the windup, the pitch. That's a foul ball. That one hitting the netting on a fastball from Figueroa. That one, a little bit of an inside fastball under the letters, maybe around the belt. And the count is full at three and two for the second straight at bat. The count full at three and two once again. Figueroa getting the sign. This would be a huge pitch right here. 
wind up. Runners on first and second payoff. Fly ball foul past the first base side. Peguero staying alive, trying to keep this game alive while the Volcanoes are trying to force this into extra innings. They have a chance for a double play here with, a, with runners on first and second. The windup and the payoff pitch from Figueroa. The throw. That's a hard hit shot. That one getting into the gap and left center field running for it is Canario. He can't make the catch. Hillsborough is going to take game one on a ground rule double. And Hillsborough is going to win the game two to one and walk off double by Leo Van Pagel. They have come back and they have won the game. Tristan English scoring from second. The Hops score two in the last two innings, and they take game one of the division series. A total in the bottom of the ninth inning, one run on one hit, one error, and two runners left on. Miguel Figueroa done after an, in an inning and a third with three hits, two earned runs. He has walked one batter. And has struck out one and got his first loss of the year. While well, Nick Snyder is going to get his third win of the season. And we're going to take a break here from Ron Talking Field. And Hillsboro, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. You need to change your oil, so don't put it off. Go to First Lube Plus and get their $34.99 oil change for only $24.99. Mention the volcanoes and you save $10. You'll get a smile from your tech and excellent service. There's no hassle or pushy sales guy to deal with. They just want to change your oil and keep your vehicle running great. The Volcanoes $24.99 special just makes your experience even better. First Lube Plus is downtown at 615 Liberty. They're also an authorized U-Haul rental outlet. It's it's First Loop Plus in downtown Salem. Hello, this is Danny Moore, General Manager here at Creekside Golf Club. We have a fall membership program going on, and I would like to invite you out to see our great facility. We have an 18-hole championship golf course and a fully stocked pro shop with all the top name brands. But we're more than just golf. We have something for everybody. We have two state-of-the-art workout facilities, a fantastic driving range for both summer and wintertime practice, an indoor performance center used for both club fitting and club repair. We also have an indoor simulator, great for fun in the winter months when the weather turns bad. Our two newest additions are two pickleball courts and a bocce ball court. We also have a swimming pool for summertime fun. Our restaurant, Danny's on the Green, has great food and beautiful views of the golf course. We have a large banquet room, great for holiday parties. So as you can see, Creekside has it all. So come on down and let me show you around the best club in town. That's Creekside Golf Club and ask for Danny Moore. The game may be over, but we're not done yet. It's the post-game wrap-up, presented by Chevron Extra Mile. Now, here's Payne Patchett on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Tonkin Field here in Hillsboro, the... Hillsboro Hops have walked off against the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes in game one of the division series by a final score of two to one. A fairly quick game here at Ron Talkin Field. The Volcanoes with just one run on only one hit. They committed three errors and had nobody left on base in all eight innings. While Hillsboro, they scored two runs on six hits. They had no errors and they left five runners on base. The winning pitcher is Nick Snyder who threw three perfect innings and struck out three. The losing pitcher is Miguel Figueroa, who is 0-1. So, in a game that lasted two hours and seven minutes and had 2,015 people in attendance, the Volcanoes will take a 1-0 lead and will have to win either tomorrow or Friday to go to the championship series against Salem Kaiser at Volcano Stadium. Really, all I could say is that the Volcanoes, they tried as best as they could with the defense, and Travis Perry did an amazing job on the mound. But, of course, that the result of this game had a lot of unanswered questions, had a lot of what-ifs to it. 
What if Kervin threw more than two innings? What if Travis stayed on the mound? What if Miguel Figueroa was taken out in the ninth? Because there was another pitcher in the bullpen for the Volcanoes in the ninth inning. But really, all those are going to be left unanswered as the Hillsboro Hops will win today by a score of 2-1. to one. Again, we don't have any information about who is going to pitch tomorrow for the Volcanoes. I heard possibly it's going to be... I'm going to try to get the name here. Uh, I heard it's possibly going to be Caleb Killian who's going to start the second game. And the rotation is to be determined. For Hillsboro, I have not been told about who the pitcher might be. As the Volcanoes, they will win. So they will lose the first game, and they would have to win tomorrow to keep their championship hopes alive here at Volcano Stadium, where they have had amazing history against Hillsboro. They beat the Volcano, or the Volcanoes beat the Hops in every game except for the very first one. The Hops won that game by a score of 7 nothing. while the Volcanoes have a chance to win the next two games, considering that both of them are going to be at Volcano Stadium. So not only is tomorrow's game going to be at Volcano Stadium, and you can check out tickets for that, but you can also get tickets for game three if necessary. Right now, we're just going to stick to tomorrow. Right now on September 5th, again, you still have a chance to see the Volcanoes play. They're still a really good team in an amazing matchup, a very close game, and the Volcanoes are going to be playing at Volcano Stadium tomorrow on September 5th. For anyone who wants to see the Volcanoes play again, you can check the Volcanoes, Salem Kaiser Volcanoes website, volcanosbaseball.com, as well as calling 503 390 2225 for more information about the playoff tickets. As the Volcanoes will be playing tomorrow, guaranteed that the Volcanoes win tomorrow, then there are going to be tickets available for Friday. In, or for Saturday is what I meant to say. The, the, for, yeah, for Friday, the 6th. As the Volcanoes will try to win the Northwest League South Division Championship for the first time since 2009. The Volcanoes losing in a heartbreaker by a score of 2-1 to one here. Again, the winning pitcher is Nick Snyder, who got his third win. Losing pitcher is Miguel Figueroa, who is 0-1. As the Volcanoes will have one more chance to get a win in this series and to take the upper hand. There's really not that much to say other than the Volcanoes took a 1-0 lead on a solo home run by Yorlis Rodriguez against Tyler Holton. The Hops scored a run in the bottom of the eighth inning on an RBI single by Andy Yerzy, and they walked off on an RBI double by Leo Vera Paguero. Both of those hits coming off against Miguel Figueroa, who came in for Travis Perry in the eighth inning. As the Hops would sneak this game away from the Volcanoes, again, the final score, Salem Kai's uh, Salem Kaiser one Hillsboro two these two teams are going to face off tomorrow we're going to take a quick break here from Ron Hawkins Field you're listening to 1430 KYKN Salem is listening at day heating and day energy solutions we offer complete home comfort together in one place with a variety of heating and cooling systems and a full range of energy related home improvements including insulation duct leakage testing and sealing energy audits performance assessments and more how can we help you be more comfortable in your home give us a call and find out day heating and day energy solutions complete home comfort together in one place 363-4822 Boone Ridge Senior Living is a lifestyle choice. Whether you desire assisted living or need memory care, Boone Ridge can be just the place for you or your loved ones. At Boone Ridge, you will experience extraordinary, and it's obvious from the moment you step through the doors. With our walking paths, fitness centers, open restaurant-style dining, and 24-hour skilled staff, you will want to call Boone Ridge home. Go to BooneRidgeSeniorLiving.com and learn more. Or for a tour, call 503-979-9611. 
When your vehicle is getting hard to crank, it's time to change batteries. The next time, you may be stuck at a bad location. See the pros at Batteries Northwest now and have the battery check. They have hundreds of different batteries available. Whatever you drive, there's a good chance that Batteries Northwest has the right one for you. A low-performing battery will do damage to other parts of your vehicle as well. BatteriesNorthwest.com. That's BatteriesNorthwest.com. Call 503-362-2684 to find a dealer near you. Buying or refinancing a home can be one of the most exciting times in your life and the most stressful. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can help put your mind at ease when it comes to home mortgages. Rates are at near historic lows. Buying, selling, or refinancing? Call Jeff today. 503-949-6302. He can also do reverse mortgages. Jeff Lang at Avenue Mortgage can put your mind at ease. 503-949-6302. NMLS number 273136. NMLS number two. Three seven seven zero one. If you need your house painted, don't call me. If you need some plumbing done, don't call me. But if you need electrical work for your home business, call me, Jeffy, at A and A Electrical Contractors, 503-949-3193. From exterior lighting to chase away those raccoons and clowns at night, panel upgrades, give us a call today, 503-949-3193, CCB153711. That's A and A Electrical Contractors. Gardening fever is starting to take hold. If you're ready to get your garden going, come on in to the 13th Street Nursery Covered Greenhouse and find the perfect plant or flowers for your garden. Or visit their new indoor plant room. 13th Street Nursery and Garden Center has a large selection of flowers and plants that will make your garden a showcase you can be proud of. Your landmark nursery in Salem, find them at 13th and Wilbur, 503-413-0386. Like them on Facebook or visit them on the web at 13thStreetNursery.net. That's 13th Street Nursery. Create something beautiful together. Your home for high school football, Ducks football, and Volcanoes baseball. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Talkin Field in Hillsboro. The Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. They lose game one of the Northwest League Division Series at the Hillsboro Hobbs by a score of 2-1. to one. They led 1-0 to nothing entering the eighth until they tied the game up at 1 and hit an a walk-off double in the bottom of the ninth inning. Looking away from the Northwest League, let's take a look at what happened around the San Francisco Giants organization because that there were other games from other teams in the organization that played in the playoffs. We start off currently with the only other game that is over, and that is the South Atlantic League semifinals. The Augusta Green Jackets playing against the Lexington Legends in a game that is almost eerily similar to the game that was played here augusta losing two to one augusta having only one hit and instead of having three errors they had two while lexington instead of having six hits which is what hillsborough had they had five and that augusta lost at home the only hit was by tyler fitzgerald who guess what hit a solo home run a very very weird a weird coincidence here. A very weird series of events between these two games. They played the Lexington Legends. Lexington won by a score of 2-1. to one. Tyler Fitzgerald getting his first home run. He struck out the other three times. Another game, uh, the two games that are going on right now. First, we have the California League Division Finals. The San Jose Giants playing against the Visalia Rawhide. Where Visalia scored two runs in the top of the first inning. On an RBI single and a force out. And San Jose scored their only run in the bottom of the seventh inning. And Visalia scored their third run on a sacrifice fly. Visalia leaving, leading by a score of 3-1. to one. Currently, it's in the top of the ninth inning. So Visalia has one more chance to get some runs on the board. And that's what the score is right now. As for the Pacific Coast League, I believe it's the semifinals. Yes, the Pacific Coast League semifinals in Sacramento. The Giants organization not represented very well in the playoffs today as the Sacramento River Cats are currently trailing the Las Vegas Aviators, a first-year team by a score of 9-3, to three, both teams with eight hits. But Las Vegas scored five runs in the top of the third inning, which gave them a six-run lead going into the top of the eighth inning. Las Vegas scoring two runs in the top of the seventh, one for Sacramento in the bottom of the seventh. And right now, playing in the Northwest League, because this game ended so early in game one, 
Right now, it's in the bottom of the eighth inning. Tri-City against Spokane. Tri-City was leading 3-0, but Spokane scores two runs in the sixth and one in the seventh. And right now has the bases loaded with one out. Chris Lincoln is the pitcher. And for Spokane, it is Davis Wenzel as Spokane will try and take a 1-0 lead in this series against the Tri-City Dust Devils in the first game of the Northwest League South Division Series. As both teams will be playing, both games will be playing tomorrow. As the Volcanoes are going to be playing tomorrow once again here at Volcano Stadium on September 5th while the Tri-City Dust Devils Spokane Indians game is going to be played at Giza Stadium. Giza Stadium is going to be the site for games two and three while Volcano Stadium is going to be the site for games two and three. As also the New York Penn League semifinals going on, the Hudson Valley Renegades, they won their first game, the team that Jacob Lopez is on. Uh, congrats to the River Cats for winning their first game. They beat the Brooklyn Cyclones. They're looking to play them again in game two. Now for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes here, clearly defense is a huge strong point, but hitting so far isn't. And that is because they're facing off against one of the best pitching teams in recent Northwest League memory. The Volcanoes are going to look to overcome that in game two. Again, we have no idea who's going to be pitching other than it's going to be Caleb Killian for Salem Kaiser. We're going to get Ward in the near future who is going to be pitching for Hillsborough and also that there's going to be a rotation for Killian, but we do not know for sure who is going to pitch after him. We just know that Killian will be the starting pitcher. For game three, we know nothing about that yet because it hasn't crossed anybody's minds because in this business, it's one game at a time as the Volcanoes will look to try and take game two from Hillsboro to force a game three so they can get to the championship series. As we take another break here from Ron Talkin Field in Hillsboro, you're listening to 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. There's nothing better than the crack of a baseball bat and the cheer of the crowd. Les Schwab is proud to sponsor Summertime Baseball and all of the sights and sounds of the Salem-Kaiser Volcanoes. This team knows how to work together, inning after inning, game after game. Just like the team at your local Les Schwab, whether you need new tires, wheels, or a free visual inspection of some of your vehicle's most important parts, Les Schwab is ready for you. Schedule your next appointment with your smartphone or computer at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, where doing the right thing matters. Do you have a tree or tree limb that's not looking so good and might not survive the winter? Call R&R Tree Service. They will come out and take care of that tree problem quickly. You know that winds, rain, snow, and ice are all coming back soon. Have that tree problem taken care of before it causes damage to your property. R&R Tree Service is a family-owned tree care company located in the heart of Salem. Call the friendly office staff at R&R Tree Service or visit them at rrtreeservice.com. That's rrtreeservice.com. I'm Aaron Hackney, owner of Dunright Plumbing. We have qualified guys that are licensed plumbers coming to your home that know how to do their job. At Dunright Plumbing, that's what you get. You get exactly what you're paying for, and you should. Dunright Plumbing makes house and business calls. You know, I wouldn't send anybody to your house or business that I wouldn't send to my home or business. Dunright Plumbing makes house and business calls. Trust, honesty, at Dunright Plumbing, we do have to make money, but we don't have to make it all on one job. We provide a good service for an honest wage. Dunright Plumbing makes house and business calls. Customer service? We leave your house the way that we found it when we got there. Without the plumbing problem, though. Dunright Plumbing makes house and business calls. We definitely make house and business calls 24-7. I'm Aaron Hackney with Dunright Plumbing. I'm a plumber, not a radio guy. They get the job done right at Dunright Plumbing. Need plumbing? We'll be there. DunrightPlumbingSalem.com. Done, R-I-T-E, plumbing, Salem.com. I know you thought your local Domino's couldn't make the $5.99 mix and match special any more awesome, but yes, we did. Mix and match any two or more of the following. A medium two-topping Domino's pizza, stuffed cheesy bread, eight-piece boneless chicken, pasta dish, an oven-baked sandwich, or our amazing new bread twist for only $5.99 each. And now you can make the pizza a large two-topping for only $3 more. Mix and match as many of these delicious Domino's items as you'd like for only $5.99 each. And don't forget to make your pizza large for just $3 more. Order online at Domino's.com today. 
During the busy farming season, our farmers are going to be moving big equipment down the highway. You know they take up most of the road, and if the farmer has allowed you to pass, or if you feel you need to pass, please do so with caution. Please do not pass on hills or blind corners. Be sure the farmer knows you are there by sounding your horn, and do not pass if you are 100 feet from an intersection, bridge, or railroad. This has been a public service message from the Clackamas County Farm Bureau. This is Volcanoes Baseball Live on your home for Beck, Rush, Newsmaker, Gorka, and Sexton. 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. And we are now back here from Ron Talking Field in Hillsboro, Oregon. The Volcanoes, they lose game one on a heartbreaker. They were leading 1-0 going into the bottom of the eighth inning. The Hops tied the game up at one and walked off against them on an RBI double by Leo Vera Paguero. His first big hit against... An opponent, his first big moment with Hillsboro over the course of the year. He's had a pretty good history against the Volcanoes this season, and this is just another snippet of it. The Volcanoes and Hops are going to play tomorrow at Volcanoes Stadium. It is a 6:35 first pitch start, to first pitch. And as usual, when it comes to tickets for tomorrow's game, if you want any information about tickets for tomorrow, there are still some good seats available. You can look for them on the website at volcanoesbaseball.com as well as calling 503-390-2225. So now, once again, with the final segment, even during the playoffs, we take a look at the scores from around Major League Baseball. And as usual, we start with the games that are still going on right now. Looks like there is a couple, three, three games that are still going on at this moment because this game ended so early. As... We now go to the, we take a look at the top of the ninth inning, the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks playing as Cattell Marte hit a grand slam in the bottom of the seventh that gave the Diamondbacks a four to nothing lead. They lead right now by a score of four to one. Right now in the top of the ninth inning, the Angels are three outs away from getting shut out. I guess the Oakland Athletics, they're Oakland's leading by a score of four to nothing. Well, on the top of the seventh inning, the L.A. Dodgers doing what they've always done. They are currently leading the Colorado Rockies by a score of 7-3. to three. Jock Peterson has a pair of home runs against Colorado. Now we take a look at the games that are done. The final scores from around Major League Baseball. The New York Mets beating the Washington Nationals by a score of 8-4. to four. The New York Yankees beating the Texas Rangers by a score of 4-1. to one. As the Yankees got a couple of home runs, Glaber Torres with his 34th, Aaron Judge with his 20th. While for the New York Mets, they had Robbie Cano with his 11th, Pete Alonzo with his 45th home run, Juan Lagares with his third as the Mets beat the Nats by four, Yankees beat the Rangers by three, the Cincinnati Reds beating the Philadelphia Phillies by a score of eight to five. The Reds scored five runs in the first two innings, while Michael Lorenzen gets his first win of the season as he was the winning pitcher, but also had a home run. It was the first time since Babe Ruth in 1921 that Michael Lorenzen was the winning pitcher and hit a home run as the Phillies would Lose to Cincinnati by a score of eight to five. Our next one, the Pittsburgh Pirates walking off in three with three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning against the Miami Marlins by a score of six to five. It was an incredible finish down over there. The Boston Red Sox beating the Minnesota Twins by a score of six to two. Mookie Betts with a two homer five RBI game down at Fenway. The Red Sox being the Twins, two offensive offense heavy teams, six to two. The Cleveland Indians beating the Chicago White Sox by a score of 8-6. to six. They scored in every run except for the 6th and 8th inning, scoring at least one run in the first five innings. All the while, the White Sox could only get bunches of twos in the 2nd, 8th, and ninth. with Jose Abreu getting his 29th, Tim Anderson getting his 15th, Fran Mel Reyes, who used to play for the San Diego Padres, gets his 34th home run, and Shane Bieber gets his 13th win of the season. The San Francisco Giants in a very wild game and a comeback Beats the St. Louis Cardinals by a score of nine to eight. <clears throat> they were trailing eight to seven, entering the top of the eighth inning where Kevin Pillar hits a go-ahead home run. It gives them a nine to eight lead. Nine runs on 15 hits and an error. St. Louis eight runs on 13 hits and one error. 
Mike Yastrzemski with his 19th home run. Brandon Crawford with his 11th. Kevin Pillar with his 21st. And for St. Louis, Paul DeJong with his 25th home run of the season. And finally, the Kansas City Royals beat the Detroit Tigers by a final score of 5-4. to four. Jorge Soler making Kansas City Royals history at the moment as he hit his 40th home run of the season. Uh, this is the only ray of light that the Royals can hold on to. It was their 51st win of the season. They're 51-89. and 89. This is the only ray of light that the Royals can hold on to because also they're not going to the playoffs. And it's the fact that they have a record-breaking hitter on offense. Jorge Soler with his 40th home run of the season as the Royals win by one. The standings around the around Major League Baseball. The New York Yankees leading by 10 games over the Tampa Bay Rays. The Minnesota Twins leading five and a half over the Cleveland Indians for that AL Central crown. And the AL West, the Houston Astros are leading nine and a half over the Oakland Athletics. While in the no National League, the Braves are leading seven games over the Washington Nationals. The St. Louis Cardinals, two and a half games over the Chicago Cubs and the L.A. Dodgers, 18 games ahead of the Arizona Diamondbacks, to which the Diamondbacks are the closest team to staying alive in the postseason for Major League Baseball. As the Dodgers are just running away from the rest of the division. As for the wild card play right now, the Rays and Indians are the top two teams. The Oakland Athletics, the closest team to getting a wild card spot at half a game back. The Boston Red Sox, five and a half. Texas and the L.A. Angels are the closest that are 10 or more games back from the two wild card spots, Texas at 13 and a half, the Angels 15 and a half, and the Chicago White Sox, the closest team to being eliminated at 19 and a half games. They are four games away from being eliminated from the wild card race as the Mariners, Blue Jays, Royals, Orioles, and Tigers have all been eliminated. As for the National League wild card race, the Nationals and the Cubs are the two wild card teams currently in contention for those spots. But the road to it is very close and the obstacles that those two teams have to go through. And by that, I mean, other teams is pretty close and it's going to be a very tough road from here. The Phillies and Diamondbacks, both three gains back for that wild card spot. The Braves, the, not Braves, the Milwaukee Brewers, four gains back. The New York Mets, four and a half gains back while the Giants are eight and a half gains back and everyone else is triple digits. But the only team that's been eliminated is the Miami Marlins. Now, one more time here from Ron Tonkin Field. The final score, Salem Kaiser, one run on just one hit, three errors, and they left nobody on base all game. Hillsboro, two runs on six hits, no errors, and five runners left on. The winning pitcher is Nick Snyder, who is undefeated at 3-0. and Losing pitcher is Miguel Figueroa, who is 0-1. In a game that had 2,015 people in it, the two teams will face off tomorrow for game two as the Volcanoes will stay alive in the Northwest League South Division Series. I said at the beginning of the broadcast that this would probably be three hours of pure insanity. That was an hour short. But to, but game two, the Volcanoes will look to try and get a shot here again. Anybody who wants to see the Volcanoes play tomorrow on September 5th, first pitch time at 635, you, you look at the Volcanoes baseball website, Salem Kaiser Volcanoes baseball website, volcanosbaseball.com, or by calling 503-390-2225. If you want to know more information about those playoff tickets, once again, here from Ron Tonkin Field in Hillsboro, Oregon, this is Payne Patchett signing off saying good night, everybody. You've been listening to two hours and seven minutes, two hours and seven minutes of Salem Kaiser Volcano playoff baseball on 1430 KYKN Salem is listening. This is Sergeant Mike, and I want to tell you about my friends at Larry's Locksmith. I'm sure you all have entry locks right now that need replacing or need to be rekeyed. Perhaps you've put it off because you didn't know who to call or someone that you could trust. Larry's Locksmith service has earned the trust of thousands of Mid-Valley customers. Rapid response for lockouts of buildings, vehicles, or safes. Almost any kind of lock can be replaced or rekeyed by Larry's Locksmith service. Check them out at larryslocksmith.com. That's larryslocksmith.com. If you have an accident in your car or truck, call Jackson's Body Shop at once. This third-generation family business has repaired thousands of vehicles right here in Salem. They have an excellent working relationship with insurance companies and will make sure your car is returned to its prior condition. The Jackson team brings you great service with a personal touch. They always say, give us your keys and you will be pleased. Jackson's Body Shop on Silverton Road. Call today or visit them online at Jackson's Auto Body. That's jacksonsautobody.com. 
Thanks for joining us for Salem Kaiser Volcanoes Baseball. Presented by Power Kia, Legacy Health, McDonald's, Les Schwab Tires, PT Northwest, Chevron Extra Mile, Limebart, Fitzpatrick Painting, and Green Acres Landscape. We now join our regular programming in progress on 1430 KYKN. Salem is listening. Your home of the Oregon Ducks all season long. 1430 KYKN. Kaiser Salem. At Day Heating and Day Energy Solutions, we offer complete home comfort together in one place. With a variety of heating and cooling systems and a full range of energy-related home improvements, including insulation, duct leakage testing and sealing, energy audits, performance assessments, and more. How can we help you be more comfortable in your home? Give us a call and find out. Day Heating and Day Energy Solutions. Complete home comfort together in one place. 363-4822. When it comes to plumbing issues, you need someone you can trust. Done Right Plumbing is family owned and operated with years of experience serving residential customers in the Mid Valley. They take great pride in getting the job done right the first time. Done Right will respect you, your home, 